Excellent. Hello, PSR. My name is PPN or Pro Pokedoob, and welcome to an Archipelago Multi World Pokemon Edition. I am going to be running Pokemon Red. My partner, Broken But Alive, is going to be running Emerald. Broken, say hello. Hello. If you've never seen this, it's starting to pop up more on marathons and other people's streams. It's getting more popular. Archipelago Multi World is a randomizer experience where multiple games get put together into one randomizer pool and items get spread across all those games. So just to keep it in Pokemon terms, um, any of my red items can be in the Emerald World and vice versa. The only rule that we have for items in this particular randomizer is all of my badges have to be in Broken's world, and all of Broken's badges are in my world. Outside of that, everything goes. Uh, we'll get into more of the details on anything else that we're dealing with. My early game is going to be pretty busy. So once we do the countdown, Broken's going to kind of bring you through what you can expect from this run. And we're going to be going from there. I guess I'm at the SNES. All right, we'll go ahead and get this just, countdown going. Just clarifying, there was no Digimon game on SNES, right? But we're going to pretend there was a Pokemon one on SNES totally, yeah? Yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, the Game Boy history, player. About it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, on the SNES, the Game Boy player. Yeah, great. <laughs> Sound like All broken. Right. All right, get rid of the countdown. All righty, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Good luck, have fun. Good luck, man. Here we go. All right. So as Propokinib was explaining earlier, this is a multi-world archipelago run where items are from both games or within both of the worlds. Um... Some of the neat little settings that you can do uh, with me, I'm going to go to my PC. I have a Lucky Egg and Fly right out the gate. Uh, fly is almost essential to not going into what's called BK mode, which we will get into uh, more of once we get to that point. Because Hopefully not suffer from it. Yeah, we're probably going to get to that point at some point. Um, so no, I'll just end up playing through a little bit normally. Um, Pokemon are randomized, items are randomized, all hidden items, uh, overworld items, and HMs uh, are going to be randomized on my end. TMs are all randomized, however, uh, the TMs that are given to me are going to remain the same. Uh, so, like, Hidden Power TM10 will be TM10 for me, but it will be something other than Hidden Power, more than likely. Uh, Ship Tree Camera Up Ladybug... Ooh. I'll probably go ship tree for now. Uh, big thing about the Archipelago Multi-Worlds are trying to find a, a uh, pretty good starter to run early on. Okay, uh, it's not terrible. <laughs> It'll suffice. I got a pony, to, uh, at least I have speed. True. Oh, goodness. Uh, also, the movesets are going to be randomized for me, and abilities will also be randomized. So once we get to the lab, I'll check and see what the ship tree has. So... Alright, so let's take a look at this. The ship tree. So the most important thing for us is going to be, like, like Broken said, finding a main and uh, just trying to get as much progression as possible for each other. Uh, you're also going to discover really quickly there's a surprise setting that I didn't mention on purpose. Uh, I have Entrance Rando on, which makes Pokemon Red Rando very, very wild, um, which is part of the reason why I need to... I've been practicing trying to talk while doing this quickly. It's, it's very tough to do, and I'm a very talkative person. Um, so on Broken's end, basically the way this is going to look... Uh, with most of the archipelagos that we're doing, depending on how many things you can do in each game in the beginning, uh, there are going to be certain people that are going to be trying to find items as quickly as possible for the other. Uh, oh boy, that's two shops in one place. Great. Um, the biggest con or the biggest consideration we need to make is Broken's going to get stuck really quickly because that's just the way Emerald is. We all play Pokemon. We've seen Emerald. Uh, it's it's a mess of a bunch of water. 
So, the most important thing is I gotta try and get through as many doors as possible just to find some kind of progression for either of us. For that, that could be anything from finding a combination of badges and HMs for him, it could be finding more progression for me just to have more things to pick up for him, and then we're hoping that we don't get too stuck here. Uh, the, the... The logic is failsafe. We will always have progression, there are no... Uh, glitches or anything required for us to get through. We've made our settings like that. Um, I've also set it up to have a little more access to the world based on locations, as I have removed the guards, uh, the uh, grunts from Route 110, uh, the Safari Zone guards, and the Whalmer from Lily Cove. And I've also removed the badge requirements. Ooh, this is good. Uh, I've removed the badge requirements from my game because waiting for badges in Gen 1 is, uh, slow. So, uh, it also allows me to use this fly, use fly really early, because uh, with Entrance Rando, there is a lot of backtracking. There is a wonderful setting called Pallet, uh, Pallet Warp, where you could just go back to Pallet Town, but it, it brings you back to Pallet Town. It's not that good. So, uh, we've, get, we've given ourselves some just mobility early on. Bicycles actually do unlock progress for us, so those are still in the pool. Uh, but essentially we just wanted to make sure we're moving as quickly as possible to get to all the locations so that we could do all of that stuff. Now, you don't have a text tracker on your screen. Usually Archipelago has one, so we're going to keep you up to date with... Oh, man, don't make that the Pokemon. <laughs> Ooh! Okay. Uh... Even better, because I don't have your stream up this time. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah you can't see anything. Um, essentially... We're going to try and keep you up to date. On my side, it'll only say AP item. When you see that, it means that I found an item for Broken. That's not even a good move set. Okay. Be good. Scratch then, TM. Off to a wonderful and then start. As you saw there, <laughs> and then as you saw there with mine, it shows uh, I found Pro Poke Noob's Pokeball. So it'll pop up on my screen what's going where. Yeah, you'll, you'll see it on his end, and then I'll, we'll just keep you up to date when anything's going on. You can also follow the item trackers, but... Uh, basically what you need to know is there are going to be a lot of items we can find for each other, but a lot of them are very good to find. Uh, supplementary items, like heals and stuff like that, that's a better carry, hopefully. Um, it's going to be very important, especially since Broken, the, oh, actually, the, one of the really big differences between Broken's game and mine is, I didn't realize this Broken when we set this up. Do you have mm. blind trainers, which means that they will not Correct. fight unless you talk to them. I have the opposite, not not Hell Vision trainers, but I have, uh, I have pain. Um, <laughs> I have trainer sanity, but to ensure that we're not here for five or six hours, me fighting 400 trainers, something like that, uh, I have actually built something called an overworld excluded trainer sanity, because with Archipelago, you can do a lot of uh, working around with where the checks are. And one of the great things is you can actually choose very specific checks not to be included for progression. And so what I've done is I've created a trainer sanity where we don't need to worry about any trainer on the overworld. They won't have any progression items. By the way, I can fly to Sapphire in case anyone didn't know that. This is all entrance rando. This is the wildness of it. Um... So... I will have to fight trainers and talk to them to get items from them, but only if they're in a place like Victory Road. Uh, <laughs> well, high level carry. <laughs> uh, well, I have a level 42, but it's almost started. It has tri attack. That's not very good. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be fighting trainers. I can't believe I'm considering a Bellsboro. And uh, <laughs> there will only be four trainers that I'm going to be looking for on the overworld because they require HMs. But otherwise, if they're in a gym, if they are in mansion, any any place that's inside, they are a check. So I have a tiny bit more checks than Broken does, but he also has... Oh, 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 no! <laughs> it's it's Bellsprout carry. All right, let's go. So, oh, boy. Yeah, it's going to be very important to that find we find a good <laughs> I, This might actually be a strength seed. I found the Ooh. back of Seafoam and oh. Victory Road. That's great for staying on time. Um, There's your badge. 
rainbow so badge in the forest. Yeah. So my rainbow badge has been found. Like we said, only Broken can find my badges. And I can only find his. So since he needs badges for his HMs, I'm on double duty basically trying to find stuff. I am not strong enough to fight that yet. Also, super apologies about anybody who likes consistent music, uh, because with, you know, Dorando, music's gonna be changing non-stop. Um, what else? I guess door considerations? I could talk about a little bit of the, of the entrance rando. Broken, Broken's got a long time before he actually has anything going on in his game. He has Correct. a fly to, you have a fly to Fall Arbor? Oh, man. Correct, yeah. Oh, man. Do I just go for the Weeping Bell and then you find me a Leaf Stone? Like... Are you gonna find me a leaf stone? I'm trying. <laughs> uh, really, I'm really I'm nervous trying. to fight anything because it's Bell Sprout. But yeah, uh, with Entrance Rando, it does make Pokemon Red a very interesting randomizer. Uh, the, the usually what you'd have to do. This is Copycat Girl. Okay, good. Uh, usually what you'd have to do is there are additional key items that you can add to this rando, uh, such as the plant key, safari pass, and the like, so it just locks more doors up, because otherwise Pokemon Red can be very cracked open very quickly. Hey, look, safari zone, speaking of which. Uh, <laughs> so, with a normal randomizer, if you've ever watched one that uses those additional key items, generally speaking, you're looking for those progression items to actually unlock a lot of checks. However, with entrance rando, it's a little different, because... They only open up the doors, and the doors can be anything. So really, if we're finding any type of progression with uh, with using like secret key, mansion key, plant pa or plant key, safari pass stuff like that. Oh, okay, safari pass is actually for safari zone. But if we're looking for anything that tries to get us through a door, it's actually about unlocking locations for myself rather than unlocking giant clusters of items because I can actually find my way into, let's say, the power plant without the plant key and get the 10 items in there, and that's pretty good. So, the big deal is if we find a connecting zone that needs me to go through a place that requires that door, the game will be like, no, you're not going there, and then you get kicked out. So, the keys aren't completely useless in it, but they do take on a slightly different role with entrance randomization put into that. I would like to pick this item up, thank you. I almost want to say we hint for Milky Stone to make this happen. <laughs> this is not good. This is a... I, I could sit uh, there for 20 minutes and hope there's another level 42. That's good, but uh, I don't know, man. Well, speaking of uh, hinting, oh, do you want to go ahead and explain how that works? Yeah, I just found Helix Fossil. My main might be an Omastar. This is, this is, this is the true Pokemon speedrun experience. <laughs> that only chat's happy about, not not the runner. Uh, yeah, so with Archipelago, again, there's a text client, and it's really helpful because it shows you hints. So, for example, Broken, because he starts with his HMO2, there's a duplicate made in the world. That's just the way Emerald works. So, uh, it tells me in which world it is and where we can find it, but he doesn't need it. But it, funnily enough, in this particular run, it tells you what entrance... Like, it tells you where it is, so it told me it's in Celadon Game Corner, but Celadon Game Corner is not Celadon Game Corner. It's actually the Safari Zone, which is why I didn't go through that door, um, because I've been told that. So you can get a lot of information from this text client. The other thing you can do is set up hints, and it does it based on a number of checks. Any check basically means that whenever you, whenever I'm talking to these trainers and I'm getting the location, then uh, that counts towards the total counter, and you can set how much each hint is worth to uh, a per like a percentage of your total checks. In this case, we've done 5%. So for me, I have to find 27 items, and then I can hint for anything. I can actually hint for either an item, or I can hint for a location to see what's in that particular location. Um, in the event that Broken or I get... Hello. Uh, in the event that Broken and I get stuck... Where we cannot oh. progress further... Oh, never mind. I, I need the SS on my screen. <laughs> so here's an example. This guy will tell me I can't get a board Vermilion City without... No, that's... Wait a minute, that's terrible. Uh, without the SS Pass. Now, luckily, I don't need that because I can just fly to Vermilion because it counts as me being in Vermilion City. But, 
There's an example of uh, entrance rando being entrance rando with key items. Fisher guy. No, that's Mr. Psychic. Playing this with music is much different. Usually I don't play this with music because, uh, you know, <laughs> I play Pokemon all the time and I get very bored of Pokemon music over, 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 you know, multiple times. But um, the music actually kind of helps me know which NPCs will actually have the items because a lot of things look very similar in this game. Oh. So, what's going on? I got color change on me too. That's some, that's really, un well, I mean, what level is it? 17. Oh, alright. If it was a higher Man. carry, it wouldn't matter if you didn't get hit, but that's, uh, that's a lot of time lost. Yep, that's gonna have that's to great. work for now. The is one time you're disappointed in a Mewtwo carry. <laughs> yeah, well. And there's my version of time loss anytime I find a Jinx. I'm sure we all feel mm -hmm. that. I'm sorry, let's say that Jinx dug a hole. Great. What else is there to talk about? What what else do we have to mention? Uh, I think we covered basically the uh, premise of the run. Um, uh, some of the settings that I do have, though, um, I do have it set up. Uh, another thing that you can do is to get a different experience each time. You can set uh, different settings to randomize each time you generate a seed. Uh, one of those settings that I have is whether or not I have to have... Um, also, th that doesn't exist in the real game. <laughs> uh, that's one of the settings that allows Acrobike to be a little more powerful of a uh, item. Um, but uh, you can set the uh, you can set the settings to how what's required for what. I have it set to randomize whether or not I have to fight. Uh, I have to beat different gems, or if I have to. Uh, have a set amount of badges to face Norman. Um, so in this seed, it generated that I have to beat four gyms to uh, face Norman. And the goal for this, obviously, is we both become champion. Mm -hmm. You know, all the same. Uh, except because of the way that the entrance rando was done, I have to find my Indigo Plateau. Uh, which will be in any of the following Pokemon centers. So if you see me going to a new town or a new Pokemon center and I haven't found Indigo Plateau, I have to enter them just to see where I'm trying to finish the run. Uh, otherwise, Omni I can't boost finish it. So. Omni boost on ancient power. Let's go. You'd like to get a lot of those. <laughs> yeah. All right, but Weeping Bill, I suddenly feel much more of a seasoned veteran Pokemon player. Suddenly, I don't. <laughs> this, is a, this is an embarrassing carry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to run the Omastar. Look, if you give me Surf, I'll switch to Omastar, okay? Fair, fair I'll enough. I'll make that promise. I, I do not want to run Weeping Bell. I want to run Victory Bell if we find my Leaf Stone. My Leaf Stones are actually not in the department store this time. They are used as key items as a check to enter Cerulean Cave. Because that's mm -hmm. something you can do in this game. You can actually make certain conditions, like going into the Elite Four or going into Cerulean Cave based on how many Pokemon you've caught, how many uh, key items you've found, stuff like that. So there, there, there are a lot of settings that you could do to make your Pokemon experience as slow as or as fast as possible. Um, but I'm going to need to find my stones, but they are infinite use. So if I want to, for some reason catch nothing but leaf stoneable Pokemon, then I'll do that. I'm not going to, because it's not Dex Sanity where I have to catch Pokemon for checks. That's too long of a run. <laughs> Good old Dex Sanity. Good old I... Dex Sanity. At least the tracker has something for that now. That makes it a lot that more viable because the tracker works for it. But uh That yeah. is true. Yeah. I, I still remember when the uh I still remember when they brought out new settings for this game and it randoed me into all of them. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't your brightest. Uh... <laughs> uh, but then again, that was the challenge was to just click random and see which settings you were given, and then you were just given yes. So yeah, exactly. That was, that, that was a very long day for all of us. That was a wonderful one. I had what over twenty seven hundred checks. Man, I don't want to be wrong. You had more than the actual combined total of twelve players. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you had too many. <laughs> Yeah, because it, it, it randoed me into Dex Sanity, it randoed me into Trainer Sanity. 
Yeah, trainer sanity, deck sanity. You had uh, well, you Very didn't even know about you didn't know about the um, artisan cave checks and everything too. Oh, so yeah, <laughs> you were getting the you were getting the tickets and you had no idea there was stuff behind the tickets. It was it was uh, it was a long day of a lot of us sitting around. Now, if you've never actually watched this or if you've never tried this. You can do this with red and emerald. Crystal is in what would it be? Beta, not beta. It'd be beta like branch, in the alpha. Yeah. No, it's not beta branch because otherwise it'd be. Oh, is it not? No, uh, I think it's. I think it's like alpha. But basically, you can make these, and it, they're very flexible, right? This is, is the this is the sort of new wave of randomizer that a lot of people have been. There you go, dev branch. Thank you. Um, it's a new way of kind of like enjoying randomizers, and it does make it really fun because. If you're nervous about randomizing Pokemon, which I don't blame people for being, uh, that's your dive, by the way. Yep. Um, so, if you uh, ever want to try it in a more casual environment, just play with friends. This is the way to do it because it just lets everybody kind of play together and at your own pace. Uh, it, it hooks you up to a room online and that room remains as long as you have the link. So if you ever wanted to try it and throw Pokemon in, and you ever wanted to play Pokemon with other games, this, is, this isn't just a Pokemon thing. There are many, many, many other games. Hollow Knight, Hat in Time, uh, oh jeez, Mario Legion Superstar Saga, a ton of Zeldas. Like, like, this can be played with a lot of different games, and it's just the same randomizer experience, and they can go for 30 minutes, they can go for two weeks, depending on how long and how, how hard you want your randomizer to be, so... It's a very fun time, and just kind of brings a little bit of uh, spice back to Pokemon, and and just games in general, randomizers in general. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, still dealing with a a cough from my viral infection. Gross. I think that it won't go away, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so right now, I'm just gonna kind of progress through the game bit normally. Uh, I don't have to run through because I don't have cut right now, so I can just fly back to Petalburg and go to Bryony's house that way. Um, so I'm going to go through the game a little bit normally right now. Uh, I did do the backtrack and set up the and set up the um, battle up at Mount Chimney. Uh, uh, but right now, I'm not going to focus too much on that, and I completely miss Briny. Input lag. Let's go. <laughs> input lag. Always blame the input lag. <laughs> uh, one thing I do not have is I do not have letter, so un unless I get letter, uh, I will have to fly back up to Fall Arbor and go progress through the uh, Magma storyline for the time being to get more checks. Uh... So let's go ahead. Let's talk to this. Uh, well, not not to fight them on top of Mount Chimney. Oh, uh, right, 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 yeah. Yeah. Once I get to the, once I get to the, uh, once I, once I get down there after beating mm -hmm. it, yes, I would need Magma Emblem plus Strength. So, plus Strength and Heat Badge. All right, okay. we're all. I'm gonna have to fight. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to force some really inefficient fights. Unf unfortunately, um, we did have this vetted just to make sure there was one place I didn't have to fight early on as Giovanni's gym. Because uh, if if you don't remember the Pokemon Yellow Run, remember the levels in there. Yeah, fighting that and not finding a good location with a good main leads to some really painful times. And especially since I don't have access to X items, not that they're like the best in this. Unless you're named X Accuracy, then you're your god status <laughs> but right. um yeah generally speaking a lot of uh, a lot of checks it doesn't take into account levels uh that's something i think they've been working on with the randomizer because you can actually put in a setting for red where levels scale based on yikes it's based on um on yikes based on spheres <laughs> but uh it's not perfect yet so when we do the entrance item rando, the game does not care about your feelies, aka your XP and your level status. So sometimes you could have access to as as high as like level 20 Pokemon, but it expects you in order to help out the multi-world to go beat up level 40s or 50s. Um, 
you kind of do it at your own discretion. In this case, for to make sure that it was safe for this marathon, we we had someone vet to ensure that that wasn't going to be the case. The one thing I forgot to tell him was to also check Blaine's gym because Blaine's gym is just <laughs> as high level. But it didn't happen, so we're good. We're we're fine. We'll take it. I don't know what this juggler's AI is doing. This is oh. very bizarre. Yeah, you have a fourth I'm water not. type you want to switch? No? Okay. One thing I'm kind of glad that I don't have right now going into Granite is Mach Bike. It's not it's not as bad of a check as it used to be. There's your your bike though. That's my bicycle. It doesn't help me until I find the gates to cycling road that require the bicycle. This man's actually just juggling. He is I, I didn't realize, is this part of his AI? I know there's some AI that do some weird things in this game, but <laughs> Oh man, acid armor, sign me up. Let's go. Yeah, bicycle will actually be really quick. You can note you notice that I'm walking a little bit faster than normal. One of the things that they put into this uh, particular run is double the speed, and that means that my bike will go quadruple the speed. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna be a little. You you have biking indoors, right? Yes, I have yeah, biking yeah. indoors allowed, which is nice. Which is nice, yeah. So you can bike indoors in Gen two and three rando, Gen one rando. You could just bike, but like you know, it's fast. It's 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 really quick. Although a door rando, it kind of uh, takes a little wind out of the sails, cause doors, tons and tons of doors. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. Hmm. You're only level ten though. I just found a sweet hen. Ah, sweet hen's not gonna run it. Unless you got to no. you have dive, but that's not gonna do it. No. If I get surf. I'm catching it just to have it in the back. If I get surfed pretty quickly, I'll switch to it, but I'm not I'll holding my breath. Matching. Yeah. I'll just keep whatever levels you have. I'm I'm I have no ethers or anything, so I'm gonna be really slow getting these checks for you. But I do have the bike. I can show off how quick this goes. Right. You can also see like the menuing's faster. They just they've done a lot of work over at uh Archipelago. We there we go. Look how fast that is. Newming <laughs> in at least 16 bits or something. I'm not a tech guy, I just play video games really quickly. Um <laughs> I have superpower right now. Just learn that through level up. I gotta I gotta be honest with you. One thing that I was thinking about before this started, I'm like, we don't have this isn't like a charity marathon, right? So no. Any of the dead air? <laughs> what are we gonna talk about? <laughs> what do we have? <laughs> like we we could talk and just talk a bunch of things, but, but usually this run is like well not slow. It really depends. This is a slower one. We can feel it just because one right. our mains aren't very good and two the areas are not very exciting. Um, so I guess we're gonna have to we're gonna have to resort to Plan B. <laughs> um, which I didn't want to resort to, but Broken, you know how my rival is named Digimon, right? Uh-huh. Do, do you have one sticking point as to why Pokemon is superior to Digimon? Uh, the fact that it didn't have to make a resurgence, that it's just been good the entire time. <laughs> you know, I don't know, though. I don't know if you'd say that about I feel like Pokemon had to redeem itself. It will have to as, after Gen 9 as well for different reasons, but, like, I feel like Pokemon <laughs> did at one point. I, did, I didn't fall off as fast as Digimon did, though. Okay, but, like, Digimon's a freaking boulder in the ocean. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, Safari Pass. Okay, so with my Safari Pass, um, that means I can go through the Safari Zone, which I believe is the only door that's kind of linked to its own entrance. Everything else is just allowing me to go through that door, but not into the area specifically. That secret key, that doesn't do anything key. for me until I can get to Cinnabar. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. That'll unlock Blaine's gym, which is basically an entrance. I don't think I've ever watched Digimon. I, I did at some point, uh, probably growing up. Because uh, I think Digimon, the other the other thing too was uh, I think Digimon and Pokemon also fought for the time space on Fox Kids and uh, kids WB in the US. I never 
even remember what sh I don't even remember what channel Pokemon was on in in Canada. I didn't watch Pokemon as a game. I'm a weird Pokemon fan. I just play the games <laughs> and appreciate that Pokemon exists and and use it as a job. Like I don't I don't watch I don't collect anything of it. I used to play the card game. And I played this oh, I, competitively. I I still play it competitively. You play the yeah, yeah. you play VGC. No, you play TCG competitively. I play both. You still do VGC? Yeah. I still do VGC. I did VGC at uh, Charlotte Regionals this oh, yeah, last yeah, yeah. this year. These HMs are bad. Okay, I got cut. Um, unfortunately, that's not too good on me because I don't have unless ah. Vermilion gives me a place that I can go to cut. I really want. I personally want Surf right now because I can go back to Pallet, go down to Cinnabar with the secret key, and at least get four doors plus. Uh, oh, actually, no. Technically, it's six doors with Surf because then I can do both sides of Seafoam Islands. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some Max Repels here. How close are you to BK? Uh, I still gotta do Flannery and all them, so not that close. Okay. all these items to get over here. At least I'm doing this reverse. The other day I had to do this the normal way and I forgot how bad that can be. <laughs> Ethan Bell versus the world. For those curious if we're referring to BK, it's a it's a a story in the archipelago community where basically someone got stuck in their game for in a Zelda game for so long they went to Burger King, came back and they still couldn't play the video game. So it's just been named as BK mode. So, if you hear us say BK, we're not trying to bait you into buying some lovely chicken tenders with a wonderful... <laughs> I don't I don't even know. What are they... That's not Big Mac. What are they called? Whopper. The Whopper. Whopper. Yeah. Hire me, Burger King. I can totally sell you out. 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man goes on Pokemon Marathon to get hired at Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> the long con. It'll work, I swear. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird when I'm sitting here just fighting wild Pokemon to get levels. Ooh. You're not EV training again, are you? No, I'm not EV training, but uh, this is a looty cult. Nice thing about looty cults, it doesn't learn any level up moves, right? So, it's just fast. No, you would have to, yeah. But, like, it's fast. Oh, yeah. It's fast and has a decent, well, actually, I say a decent learn pool, but, uh, Everything learns everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it functions like every other Pokemon in the game. It's perfect. Alright. Let's see. Do you have a better... <sighs> Magnet pool? It's not terrible. But just with the way that this has been going so far, considering we haven't found anything at all for Broken yet, uh, if I find a location that can be cleared with the resources I have, like my, I hate saying it, but my Weepin' Bell um, <laughs> is good enough to take the self-destruct and clear essentially any location. Because uh, I have a couple of ethers as well now, so I don't have to keep ducking in and out of... of uh, out of locations, but right. I should be just full clearing them because opening up my world is not going to do anything for Broken because I'm going to be skipping a lot of concentration of checks. And we learned really quickly, especially with Entrance Rando, that uh, it can lead to a lot of interesting sphere development, uh, which just basically means how many items you need to be able to acquire a progression item. So because of Entrance Rando, uh, some areas can actually just be considered, yeah, you should just went here first because you were able to get there through the entrance, not so much because, like, the items would tell you that. Hello, Bill! Do you have Hello. an old rod for me? Honestly, I would I would really t like a super rod. I hope one day we find a speedrun strat where we can just leave Bill in the machine. <laughs> How slow he walks. That ain't fair. Is he anything? Is he anything? No, okay. Hey, I got the Ross Berries without talking to the Fire Breather. You're improving! 
Wait, does the fire breather not fight you though? No, if you talk to him, he will. Oh, I oh, because he's in the way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, so here is the the gate that requires the bicycle, so we might be on the right track with me needing to go through here. Bicycle could easily be the progression. It does give me Cerulean, and because I have cut, that actually opens up four doors? That's actually, uh, that's important. All right. Okay. So once I discover that this is the Warden's house and uh, have nothing for him. Cut also opens up Vermilion Gym. This is, uh, oh, I'm flying, whoops. This is interesting. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, when we, you know when we were talking in setup, how we're like, yeah, we're gonna be well underestimate. <laughs> this isn't a yeah, well it's... underestimate setup, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just going slow now, and then we'll fly through the end. Hey! Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, we're 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 slowly ramping up. Yeah, you know also, the Pokemon no, way. No hiker on the on the climb. How many times do you have to go up that though? You might find hiker. <laughs> how many how many whoppers will you buy me if you find one? Actually, let me see if I can get the skip. I didn't get the skip. Um. Uh, because they've sped up your walking in this game, something I discovered with the bicycle, and I have no idea how to do it because I don't know anything about frames, I just know the word frames. It's kind of like the buzzword, you know, they say <laughs> it in speedruns. I'm like, I know frames, I don't. But, uh, the point is sometimes because you go so fast on the bike, you can actually skip her from recognizing that you've passed through her vision. So I'm guessing it's on some pick of a frame or something like that. Uh, you have to do it while getting out of that first fight, though. Because otherwise... Uh, she'll always catch you. But there are a couple of instances where you can skip through trainers like that when they're right next to each other. It's just it's just a, a symptom of this particular game. I guess. Oh, no, what I'm is this? Ice type at lowered speed. Okay, so Surge moved outside of town. Okay. <laughs> One really nice thing with Trainer Sanity in these games, if you do it in any of the Pokemon games, is you can fight these trainers in any order. If you beat the gym leader, it will not remove your ability to fight the trainers. So, like, they've thought of everything with it. And also, like, it, it doesn't have necessarily any implications unless you have a hint that tells you to fight something, someone specific. But in case you make that mistake and it's Babby's first randomizer, the fail-safes are there for you. Seriously, can you find me a Leaf Stone, please? I am trying my hardest. <laughs> well, that's the first time that, that trash cans had uh, the lock. Cool. Oh. So this, okay, I need I need Pokemon Red and Yellow speedrunners in chat to help me out with this. This follows Pokemon Red's logic where the first lock has to be either in the top or bottom row, either the left, the rightmost, or the middle can. And then the middle row, or if it's in the middle row, it'll be in the two middle cans. Um, like, like the center right and center left. And you only have to find one lock in rando. I believe that's a Pokemon red thing. I can't remember if yellow does that too. I do know that, like, the difference between which can you look for between red and yellow is different. Like, like red is just, you go back to the one you just talked to, I think, and that counts. Um, and it's a 50-50 that that works, and yellow has some really convoluted, like, red lines drawing, a drawing gloss, like some conspiracy theory. Like, it's really, really all over the place. Like, I think the top left links to the bottom center right, or something like that. I, I, I play game fast, but yeah. Um, you just have to find one lock, and it'll always be one of those eight cans <laughs> that I just mentioned. So, saves a lot of time. No lock resets, nice. So I'm into Flannery's gym now, uh, so I'm approaching the BK mode. Uh, I, once I defeat Flannery, the uh, what would be the badge that Flannery gives me uh, would be uh, the check there, followed by the check by the rival, and that of the item the rival gives you after beating Flannery. And then I have the item over the ledge, and I have no more checks I can logically get to right now. Well, not even logically, you actually just can't do them. <laughs> that too. You're actually just stuck. 
Yeah. Please don't be something. Oh, it's nothing. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay. Um... Interesting stuff here. Alright. We boost. First try? No. Okay. What are you going to be hinting? What, what are... Okay, what are you actually going to hint? Acrobike, maybe? Like, what? Letter. You have no... I guess, but that's like one check. Letter is the... Oh, no, it gives you slate port. Right. That gives me slate port, yeah. Right. That's... Right now, that's logically the only thing that I've got. What would Acrobike do for you? Nothing, to because I already have Fall Harbor access, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Can you... No, you would need Go Goggles for that. Yeah, and that's only... Four checks in the desert. Yeah, five the checks that, in the desert. The fact that we haven't even found anything, it, like a bag or anything for you, is kind of ridiculous. Usually, we find something about. We found dive, but like it's, it's yeah. a dive. Right. Look at me. I did the safari zone. Stone badge. Okay, hold on now. Okay, cut could give me some. Cut gives me checks. Is it enough though? Oh, uh, decent amount. Oh, right, I was normal type. Well. What was that safari zone? Okay. I'm gonna go through safari. Uh, before you do your hint, let me go through safari zone. Yeah, And then good. if we don't find it there, have I received a polka doll yet? I don't think so. Alright, so you gotta notice here, there are a lot of doors in Safari Zone! <laughs> We're gonna do all of it in one go. Actually, I don't think I can without, um... What's it called? Without <laughs> Surf. We're about to find out. Hey, look, fishing guy. Oh, there's a ladder. See? Yep. Told you. Yep. Oh, just, just I don't figured hit, that don't was hit. logical. <laughs> right. Uh, have I been given a revive? Because, uh... Salamence just decided to Destiny Bond my, uh... Nope, I've not been getting a revive. All right, this is probably a white. Well, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All four items, they're coming in. Here's the light ball. That'll help it, right? Just zap you. <laughs> Literally liquefy your adversary. What's in here? Oh, nice. Uh, no steps in these areas that are not a part of the safari zone will count. So I can go through these locations. So if I find, like, Pokemon Tower in here, I could do it without having to worry about running out of steps. Otherwise, I don't know how they ever expect you to play this video game. I just bought a safety revive. <laughs> Good call. I have enough money, I can probably get the majority you know of You know it's a rough run when you, when you when you it out at two different gym leaders. Oh, come on. Read my inputs, please. Input reading is overrated. Much like this weeping bear. Actually, it's exactly <laughs> as it should be rated. Okay, once that runs out, I'm out of steps. I need to go down here. I'm used to doing this place with Surf, so it's a bit weird for me to... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get all of them in one go. Uh, no. Usually, Surf makes this much easier because you can go through the middle and the front section and then just do all of it and have about 50 steps left. So here we go. We actually found the Viridian Mart, which gives you an item. So that's another reason why you need to be looking through all of the... Well, I mean, you're always going to be looking through all the doors, but in this particular instance... It is important to find everything. Mm -hmm. Here, I might be able to get one more item before it kicks me out. And this door, which is Mr. Broke, as an item finder that's close. <laughs> that is good to find, though. I'm out of steps. Oh, well... Why did... Wait. How did I use four steps the leaving the door? Is that a thing? <laughs> I'm shrugging on that one. I have not a clue. I've never left the door and just be like, you're out of steps. Cool. Um, as I mentioned, even though item finder is completely useless, you can make a setting where you need item finder to find uh, hidden items. We're not doing that. <laughs> it's uh. self-explanatory why we're not doing that. Um, but it does count towards my 11 key items that I require for potentially going through the Cerulean Cave door. Let's 
final. This time I did not now. get. Uh, this time I did not get Destiny bonded. Okay, that's that's all I have until I have Surf to get the final item in Safari Zone. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing Letter is going to bring you to something to continue this run. Because I mean, it's going to take me to it's going to take me to Slateport, and that opens up a majority of the middle of my map. Does it though? Because yeah, I don't have oh, the yeah, route one two guards. Yep. I keep forgetting you get rid of the guards. It's smart to do so, but like I just keep forgetting that you do it. <laughs> Right. Alright, so... Heat Badge was an awakening. Have fun with that. Mm -hmm. oh, I, you know, depending on who you talk to. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this money. Flannery was Maybe. pretty cool in 2004, you're right. <laughs> Alright. The only check I can still do... Let's go deliver the letter so I can get to Slateport. <laughs> I did not heal in... Oh, I didn't heal in Cerulean. It's always fun when the uh, archipelago tells me, just play this game as normal as possible. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, actually, with Cut, I can do the stuff north of Viridian, too. I didn't think of that. Fair. Following the ABCs of uh, Archipelago. I uh, no, I, I like JX seven. <laughs> I, I definitely do not follow the ABCs of Archipelago. <laughs> Plus, Archipelago is A R C. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad. Pop. what I said about belt. Blaine's gym. Uh -huh. oh, oh, chat! We can answer some questions! Watch this! You, go, you guys know that the answer is usually yes, 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 no, yes, no, right? Okay, here we go. So, Pokemon is pronounced Pokemon. Yes or no, chat? I need your help with it. Poke, wait. Is it? <laughs> is it? No, because uh, cause I'm, I'm, I'm Canadian, so we, we just speak French here. It, it's not Pokemon. No, it's Pokemon. Yep. It's correct. I did it. But I still have to fight every trainer, but we're going to answer every question because that's fun. Uh, Can we get the reward for free? Broken, I've been playing this rando the entire time wrong. <laughs> I could have actually have saved like 10. <laughs> you don't have to fight, you just get the reward. I had no idea. That's cool. All right. Okay, I know there is an American Motor License Association question in this pool. I'm going to need help with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need some, some Google Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> we could keep missing, you're right. Earthquake doesn't hit Dig in Gen 1, luckily. True. I forget, was it Gen 2 that it started that, or was it Gen 3? I believe it was Gen 2. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, No, Gen 2, because I believe that's also when Twister started hitting Flying Pokemon, right? Like, that's when Probably. they introduced Twister and that hits yeah. Flying Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it does, yeah. Gen 1 was when Sis Swift could hit anything, and then they took that out in Gen 3? I don't remember now. I've played every competitive. I've played every format competitively. I just don't remember. It's too much to remember. All right, here we go. Okay, the secret key was found by Broken. Yes, you found my secret key, right? Yep. All right. That is correct. Cool. I got T for that. Nice. Nice. Stop that. Electric deals not very effective damage to flying type. That is incorrect. <laughs> I've played Pokemon since I was a wee lad. These checks are very oh, useless, by the way. Yeah. All the way evolves map. two times. <gasps> yes? Yes. Grab this TM. Yeah. Doesn't count Politoed. God bless. All right. Well, Politoed didn't exist yet. It does, doesn't matter. There's a question here that asks... <laughs> if, it, there's literally a question here that asks if Poliwag evolves 86 <laughs> times. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, fossil. We were just talking about this. Fossil Pokemon revive at level thirty. That's a yes. Boom! I was right. It's level thirty in Gen One. Thank you for the nugget. And the final question: Raichu was sleeping on Route Twelve. Man, I haven't been there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Educated guess: Was it a? Ch is it a Chonkachu? That's one of our. Uh, one of our Snorlaxes. Probably. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say yes. 
It was wrong. Darn it. Alright, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Noted, I don't have a ride shoe as a Snorlax. Unfortunate. That doesn't change a single thing about this run. <laughs> I'm kinda disappointed. I was hoping we were gonna get the American Motorboard Association question. <laughs> <laughs> it's some question about like idling and exhaust consumption or like exhaust expenditure or something like that it's really funny jeez <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it that in all the streams I've been to I don't do the questions I didn't know they gave me free items if I, if I got them right yeah I mean that's fair <laughs> but then again depending on the size of the AP world as well when I'm playing with five or six other people, and they ask me, did this person find this over here next to this person's world? I might as well just oh, do the fight. I just found my SS ticket. That's even more checks. Oh, that's that's actually really good for you. Yeah, especially if I can get Mystic Ticket, because, oh, I would really like to have the high level. But SS also gets you to Lily Cove, right? Yeah, I mean, I need Lily Cove to access the, uh... Watch it. Although now I have the I have the SS ticket now. No! I got Gen oh. 1! Uh oh. You miss a 100% accurate move? No, I got hit by Fissure. Oh. oh that's that's really bad. bad. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> uh, learning point for those who don't know uh, Oko moves in Gen 1 work off speed, they don't work off levels. Uh, so, you know. Weeping Bell's not very fast. Now, it is just an Arbok. Yeah, fair. They also have infinite power points, so this is literally a... a roulette at this point. Okay, it missed. It missed again. It missed the third time. Alright, we're good, we're good. Okay, good. Blaine was being a, a sneaky peep. Volcano badge. Okay, so I have volcano badge. That brings me up to two more badges. Uh, two more badges, and I can go through that one gate. The Indigo right. Plateau has a, a badge flag that you need to look for, and I've set it to four. And then if I want to go into Viridian Gym, I need six badges. Uh, yeah. uh, what? Hello. Okay. Also, go chat, through back it is now time. It is now time for me to do my obligatory go away, Scott. You're gonna do that eight times, right? Uh, potentially. <laughs> so go away, Scott. Um, <laughs> anytime he appears on the screen, it's just like, come on, just move faster, please. <laughs> yeah, Scott's, Scott's a butt. Okay. Oh, so okay, I've access to Lavender now. Hopefully we would only have to do it like three or four times, <laughs> but that's not always the case. If anything's in Lavender, I can find that for you now. Nice. It's the Vermilion one. Thunder badge. I think so you might be forced me through that door soon. Yeah. No! Don't do that! I found Silco. <laughs> oh, well. Technically, that is, like, I think that is Fear 1, right? Because... Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. So I found, okay, so I found Vermilion, which then I think let me find Cerulean, which then let me find Lavender, and I didn't need anything for it. So I think it's still Sphere 1. Ugh, yep. Alright, have fun. No, I'm not gonna do it yet. Not yet. No. I, I, I really, really want to find... You know what would be really good right now? Is if mm. I could find Power Plant. So I can get the bird. Mm, fair. I wouldn't mind going down a few levels just to find a better main. This, this main is not... Amazing. Jeez. It's Ice Beam Hydro Pump, but I'm still... You know, a Weeping Bell. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to find you a left leaf stone. Yeah, just find the leaf stone, really. Yeah, just find the left stone. Let's go. I also found Celadon. All right. So you're only missing what three major towns now? Oh, come on. Uh, I'm just missing Pewter, actually. Oh, just Pewter. Yep. Wow. Because I also have Cut, right. which means I can go check. Uh, Rock That's Tunnel. true. Yeah, that's true. I have I have lots of access to a lot of places here now. So that's good. So this is this is where now I'm gonna be ramping up and 
making decisions on where exactly I want to be searching. Having said that, like I said, we don't have a lot for Broken happening right now, so if they're gonna force me to do Sylphco, I just found Pewter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have it all. Oh no. This is a Marathon Seed, perfect. So this means I could do anything in Sphere Zero, and I also found Power Plant. So I'm gonna check the oh. bird. There. Yeah, check? go for it. Should I check? I've beaten Blaine's Gym. I might still be able to get away with a level 43 Electrode encounter. Maybe. And then drop a couple of rare candies on it, if it's a better- It's gotta be a, a way better main, but I might be able to go down next be a bit. Just to secure a better future. It's starting to sound like Magneto. Um... Oh, that's not- that's fine, though. It still worked out, we're good. How's everybody in chat doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us for this uh, very... Um, we're very glad that we were able to get Multi-World in. It's always a pleasure yeah. to show off how Archipelago Multi-World works, and it leads to some very fun times. Oh, yeah. Especially when, uh, one, one game's on the hunt. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is this is the worst hunt too because every we had a very linear seed a few days ago when we were practicing. This mm -hmm. is far from linear because by this so by the door's logic, every town is sphere one, mm -hmm. which is not good. Uh, that's that's yeah. a lot to look for. So at this point, it's needle in a haystack sort of situation. Hmm, should I switch from one stone Evo to another stone Evo? <laughs> Great. Maybe. Do you have the stone for it? No, I have no stones. Just the Helix fossil uh, and Lord Helix. I just I just have Helix. Alright, well. Maybe the problem was I insulted Helix. Maybe. 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 Uh I'm gonna go ahead and uh fight Dad real quick. And then I'll take the ride on the SS Aqua. Also friendly reminder to save, just in case. You get Pokemon. <laughs> Okay, hold on. This could be a good Pokemon. What'd you get? Slowpoke. Ooh, nice. It's slow, but it's it's a bro. It is a bro. Let's see. <laughs> Rab hammer slap. That might actually just be better. Yeah. yeah. That, just with crab. Uh, I don't know, man. It's not a lot of attacks. That's true. Um. But it's gonna be stronger than Weeping Bell, I think. Yeah. I mean, I you can to switch to man. it for now. Yeah, you can pivot now, and then if we get a Leaf Stone within the next 20 minutes, probably pivot back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if I can keep my Pokemon gamer card if I say I'm <laughs> making Victory Bell and Slowbro fight for my lead spot. I'm just saying. Hey, but everyone's tired of the Mewtwo main that I'm running. <laughs> I'm not. Can I have a Mewtwo? I want a Mewtwo main. So here's the perfect example. Weirdly enough, the back of Power Plant is leading me out to Power Plant, and I need the plant key to get there. Oh. So... Hmm. Uh, that's, that's very interesting. I'm about to fight Dad, so... That's, that's only gonna matter if that one trainer down there is one of the four trainers that requires an HM to get to. That guy only matters if I don't get Surf and he has a check. So if I get True. Plant Key before Surf, I should really go check that guy. Just in case. Alright, Mewtwo 2 is now a flying type. I did not mean to continue to use the alarm, but oh, I, I found him to go Plateau. There we go. Okay. Oh, there you go. It's in a very easy to get to location. That is very reassuring. I'm gonna go win the game, BRB. Okay. Um. No. Okay. I'll keep Omen. I'll take the crit. Now somebody, somebody's got to get off the team. Blastoise, get off the team. I'll hold Omen Star for chat. <laughs> Man. Oh, people. it is important to note that uh, when you set up an AP, you can set up what happens after you win. So you can either just completely release your moves or release all the rest of your items or 
uh, like you can keep playing the game after. So in our case, our game will not release until we force it to release. Because one of us could beat the Elite Four and then still go play the game to find the rest of the items for the other. Yep. I found Rival's sister. Hello, Digimon sister. <laughs> I need to get Oak's parcel before I can talk to Digimon's sister. I don't want to get yep. rid of the big Squirtle, but I had to because I just need less Pokemon on my team. <laughs> If it were up to me, you know, off off the oh, record. The so that... What chancy? Uh, but I lived on one. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Are you saying a chancy's beating up a, a Mewtwo on your side? To be fair, the Mewtwo was uh, <laughs> already yellow health and at minus two, minus two from what? superpower. So. <laughs> Wait, I have more questions. How's superpower not killing chancy? I have a Cascade badge. That doesn't distract me from the real questions, Broken. <laughs> why is why yeah. is Big Mewtwo losing to... to Wishable Chansey? Yeah, that's a good question uh, that I asked as well. <laughs> I only ask good questions, I'm also concerned. Well, we also know how this game likes to troll me. I don't, I don't know, man. When I hear Mewtwo versus Chansey with superpower and you're not beating it, I have more I have, I have more questions and concerns <laughs> than I have understanding of how this game works. Right, fly, to, fly to Mallville, get what's supposed to be the basement key. It's an nice seal. Okay, well. Time to go take a ride on the ship. I'm just going through uh, Erica's gym right now, so if you... How close are you to BK? Uh, once I take this ship and then go do all the checks at Slateport and the uh, little puzzle maze. Go away, Scott. Please. Thank you. I got, like, what, 10, 10 minutes, sort of? Probably, yeah. Just about... I mean, so, uh, okay, you know what? This is going to sound like a really weird team flex or, or teamwork thing. I'm going to let uh, you get BK'd. Okay. Because I really don't want to sit in Silph Co. for 30 minutes unless just to, to find out. Unless I have to, right? So I want, I want to get you something before I go sit in there and do nothing but destroy Team Rocket. Yeah. And only half of them, even. I, I really do think, though, Silph Co. is the answer just because of how early you found it. It's not early though. It's all it's all part of Sphere One with everything else. So exactly. that's why. Yeah, that's what I, I mean. <laughs> okay, it could be it could be in the door above Pewter. How do we know? Did you read the script that I sent? I mean, did you do you know? <laughs> no. Exactly. I have card okay, key. that doesn't count as give me the card key for Silphco. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Sir, I think it's leaning towards that. Means uh, nothing. That means I think it's leaning towards nothing. <laughs> You should go do it. <laughs> Just start. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> but okay, but here's the problem though. What if I find it behind card key? That's sphere two. No? Well, then you're still technically right, but you're not right at the same time. <laughs> Sir, butter was for sphere one reason. for me. <laughs> what? No, that'd be sphere two, wouldn't it? Because you needed no. one item to do the check. Um Yeah, no, this the card key would be in sphere two, yeah. Yeah, okay. So it'll lead to something. I don't know if it'll lead us to progression, though. No. Like, what if I find Mind Badge and you're just diving without a swim buddy? Uh, I don't even have... <laughs> I don't even have balance or surf, yeah, I know. so... That's what I'm saying. You're just gonna take your face, shove it underwater, try and grab something. <laughs> bobbing for badges. Welcome to Pokemon <laughs> Bobbing for Badges. Uh... Oh, yeah. When 90% actually means 10% accurate. Right. Yep. Yeah, it is unbelievable how terrible my luck is when it comes to low chances to miss. I will I will trade you right now for that superpower mute and I'll show you how to beat up a chancy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a slow bro, it's like it's like a Mewtwo. Right. <laughs> you turned your head sideways. 
Why does Psywave have to miss in this gen? <laughs> why why does Psywave even a move? Right. They, is it still in Gen 9? No, they got rid of it at some point. No, right? they got rid of it, yeah. Gen I eight. think Gen 8 they got rid of it, yeah. Uh I'm BK. Alright. <laughs> You're stuck? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Never been happier in my life. <laughs> Semi to Silco, I dare you. So you won't see the hint, but we will tell you what he's... So explain what you're going to hint for, and then we'll explain uh, what it is. Since I have Stone Badge, I'm going to hint uh, for Cut. Okay. Because that'll give me a decent amount. Route 2 South oh. item. You know what's funny? I'm right next to it. Oh, well, there you go. All right, Perfect. I'm going to go... I go ahead and fly back over. We're only going to be doing hints when we're completely stuck. Otherwise, we would be out of here in two hours, and our estimate's four and a half. So, you know, <laughs> we don't want that happening. Fly back over to Rustboro. I'll go see Northern Route first. There are some really interesting archipelago runs that I've watched when people do races with each other, where they either do Plando, where you kind of know how the run's going to look, and the idea is to try and move as quickly as possible through it. There's hint heavy, where you could just, like, you make the hints very, very cheap, and you're just trying to hint your way to finish it as quickly as possible. Uh, there are some people. Oh, by the way, I can see my game's cut off. Why is my game cut off on the top? Oh. That's very weird. I only just noticed that now. <laughs> I could fix that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, they're still waiting for their self-co content. No, 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 self -co <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just using Lord Helix to chop down trees. It's the only thing it deserves to do. Anyways. <laughs> this is Cerulean Cave. Oh, man. Wait, I might find a better main here. Hold on. No! <laughs> what? Main after... Main no, after cut. main now. Main <laughs> now. You're right. You're right, friend and, and fellow speedrunner. Find better Pokemon right now. <laughs> what a great novel idea. I appreciate how intelligent you are with this. <laughs> Ain't a new main. <laughs> Look, a Gengar is sitting right in front of me. It's wonderful. I'm gonna have all the answers I need. I'm gonna get a ball to Gengar. The Haunter, but I can make it a Gengar really easily. Uh, okay, what does it have? I won't be so picky. I'll just see what it has and then go from there. It's terrible. Okay. I'm going to use it, though, to try and ramp up to the level... I think on this floor I can get up to level 63. Mm. I'd have to get deeper to get the 67 and then potentially the 70, which is the Mewtwo. Which is going to be a Weedle. We all know that. My game is doing the obligatory thing where it just doesn't want to give me any moves. Right. Let's go fight this wall ring for a while. That way there's some content on my end. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I, I will I will pick up this Jolteon because I'm out of Pokeballs, so I can't even uh I can't even force myself to you know, look for more. Alright, well anyways, I'm still gonna run the slow bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, level seventy jinx, just troll him. Never. I agree with that. You can't make that. You can't. That. You can't scare me. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Where was Silphco again? Was that in Lavender or Pokemon Tower? It was. Okay. Oh no, Route yeah. Two. Route Two. You need route me to do two. Route Two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Then do Silphco. Hate to hate to break it to people, but Entrance Rado kind of messes with your brain a little bit. It's uh. <laughs> It's a lot to pay attention to, which makes it fun, though. It actually has made this this rando experience quite interesting. There it is. Thank you. It actually adds a lot of flavor to Gen 1 running. Oh, I found uh, where I need the bike voucher for. Excellent. Oh, nice. Now, do I still do Silphco? Yes. You have all the pieces. I do, I do have all the pieces. The other nice thing about beating so Silphco is it will open up three doors in Saffron because there. Team Rocket Even leaves. Better. But no, that, see, look, and I gotta heal with six Pokemon. I might have to put away, don't make me put away Lord Helix, I'll do it. <laughs> then nobody can have fun. I'm already putting away the evolution. Nah. 
Oh, this is the level 5 Magic Herc, uh, Pokemon Center. Cool. I don't need any of this. I don't know how this is showing up on stream, but I apologize if this hurts your eyes. These these checkered board floors are awful. Yeah. Hoping that shows up okay for you. <laughs> you know, the game kind of looks really funny when you can't see their health bars. Or their names. <laughs> you just see, like, kind of the, the eyes cut off, and I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, go down, get the first here. And I also have cut tree. It's so weird getting this with just, with cut, because I'm just used to grabbing it with surf, because I get surf before cut all the time. There's my preferred fossil Pokemon. Ah, Kabutops. I love Kabutops, it looks so cool! Omastar is literally you just shoved Cthulhu in the world's smallest crab shell. <laughs> Kabutops has size for arms. It's like Edward Scissorhand, but way more badass. It's cool. Edward Scytherhand. Has anyone ever drawn that? I wonder. <laughs> I'm gonna get that commission before anyone else takes that. <laughs> Too late. There's probably a bunch of artists in the stream watching it now. Oh, I guess like, Scizor oh, hands. Why did I not? Yeah. I think Scizor hands would be even better. I think I've seen that. I think I've actually seen yeah. that before. Well, that makes more sense. <laughs> that description just made me feel like Then we have to up upgrade it too, though. Because then we could do cleaver hands. It's true. Like scissor hands were around with two hatchets. <laughs> I paid to watch that movie. Thunderbolt? Oh my goodness, I have a run. It's amazing. <laughs> hey. Okay. That's half of That's half of strength. Yeah, so broken received HMO4. Um strength in Emerald is a lot more important than strength in Gen 1. I don't have a lot of locations that strength would work in, although I have found three of them. I found all three of them, which is Victory Road, Warden's House, and outside of Vermilion. Uh, for Broken, it, it, <coughs> it lets him go do all of the Rocket, or sorry, Magma quest yeah, chain. Um, magma Hideout. Yeah, Magma Hideout, it gives you the Ice Cave in the um, Shoal Cave. Gets you the two checks in Fiery Path. Let's you, of course, get through Victory Road. Yeah, you Actually, need. That might be it. I think it's just Fire Path. You said Fire Path. Yeah, I said Fire. Uh, Seafloor Cavern. I guess. Well, Shoal Cave. Yeah, you would need it for Seafloor. Yeah, if it ever gets that far, it's the farthest in the chain you go. Right. Because you eliminated Juan, because you and Juan are not on good talking terms. <laughs> oh, boy. But seriously, though, Juan is a troll. Every time oh, that... Yeah. Before we... Before Broken disabled Juan, Juan was always a check, and this was in, like, a four-player multi-world. So we're just yeah. all sitting there waiting for an item. We're going, Hey, Broken, have you, uh... Have you started the whole Magma Aqua thing? No. You know Juan's gonna have something. Juan has, like, the one thing that opens up all four worlds. It's... Yeah. One is not uh, one of us, if you will. I think one time it was Mirror Shield for, that was... for somebody. <laughs> no, it wouldn't have been Mirror Shield. It would have been... Oh, no, it would have been Mirror Shield. Yeah, to get him through the uh, the fire, right? Because he couldn't yeah. glitch with, uh, with the rooster yet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, crap. I forgot. Now that I have cut, I can actually go backwards to Fortree. Well, you've got Petalburg Woods there to do. I already did. <laughs> Never mind them. Did you? <laughs> Woods was second thing I did on the list. Yeah. This is where we needed a commentator. Right here. This right. part of the run right now, <laughs> where Broken is doing cut checks and I'm going through Silph code, there is literally nothing to talk about. 
Literally, because there, there's nothing. All these berries. We've got nothing right now. I was hoping we'd have a little bit more to talk about. Oh, believe me, I was hoping so too. But hey, I this hope means, you uh... were. we're on the same team. <laughs> No, right? no, you're right, partner. I wish we were actually totally screwed on the logic and that we couldn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good teamwork. Love that. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. I, I will say this, though. It is yeah. one of the rare times where I actually have to go reverse to Fortree. So I will take that. Do you have Devon Scope? No. How are you going to get them? Uh, talk to Steven. Oh, that's right. That's Yeah, yeah he doesn't... Oh, no, but what about... Oh, no, yeah, because you got the cut. You can get past Aqua. Cool. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That is rare. You might actually have a pretty... Depending on what you find over there, if you find anything, you might have a pretty tame seed with, with Surf. We might be able to avoid all the, the dive checks. Potentially. Hopefully. Potentially. We'll see. It depends on how quick... I. Speaking of Surf, I'm so used to having it by the time I'm over here, I went to the water's edge to Surf. To Listen, get I'm, I'm in Silph Co., all right? <laughs> Gonna find out all all seven of your badges and we're out of here, okay? Easy. Yep, easy. fair enough. Works works for me. I'm actually you know that. what I should have done. I want that in writing, please. No. Chat can clip it. I'm not I'm not writing <laughs> that down. I've I've learned from shenanigans. You say one bad thing about a bulbasaur, you become an entire internet meme, okay? <laughs> I'm not apologizing to Silphco. <laughs> <laughs> or Omastar. Fair enough. Oh, uh, this might actually be worth catching. Why is there more than one light ball in this randomizer? Is there more than one light ball to get in the game? No. Why are there I just have everything. I just have everything uh, set to fully random, not item for item random. Oh, is that why I'm finding? Yep. Really? Oh, I yep. didn't know it actually uh, take key items like that, to, or not key items, but um, held items like that. Neat. Yep. E-I-L, O-M-G. Alright, please tell me you're good. Blaze? Okay, well, I do have Blaze Kick. Uh, Angel oh. Power, Thrash, Mimic, Magical Leaf. Ah, apologies, or Riot. Ah. Well, Viva la Revolution, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not good enough to be the main Riot. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Not good enough to be a main, but it is good enough to be a secondary, so... I now have a hip on Lee. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt this self code to go beat up Brock. Oh, no. I needed to heal! I don't have enough elixirs. Ah. Slowbro will make... I don't know if Slowbro speeds this dub trio. Okay, it did. You, you can understand my confusion. <laughs> Hello, level 30 Kabuto. Hey. And you should arm. catch it. We should be fossil brothers. It, it died to a needle arm. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Why you punch the fossil brother, though? <laughs> I think chat would appreciate that, considering the no. helix. <laughs> Horror, you just threw Kabuto into a cactus, you meanie. That's so cruel. It was you a mute. think about that move, though? <laughs> No, like, I mean cactus like like cacturn literally just backhands a Pokemon and it's like supposed to stand after that. That's not happening. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Why is that a base sixty five move? <laughs> it really it really should have been put at the same level as like fire punch and all that. And then call it like prickly punch or something. That would have been cool. Eh, don't worry, Thorny Shield will become a thing eventually. We have Spiky Shield. That's what I mean. It already is a thing. Yeah. But that's not prickly punch. I want prickly punch. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fun to say as a commentator for for tournaments. Here comes the prickly punch. Oh, whoop. Ooh, ow. I already knew that. I already had that. Uh, Dragon Rage is fun until it's not fun anymore. <laughs> Please don't tell me your Mewtwo is losing to Dragon Rage. No. I'm saying as a TM, it's fun until it's not fun anymore. Actually, that is something I haven't had the pleasure of using in a while, is, is getting, uh... Getting Dragon Rage starting early on. 
But entrance rando, it's not that good. In uh, in non entrance rando, Dragon Rage is heavy, heavy desirable because it can make any Pokemon good, and chances are you're probably gonna pivot out of that main if it's not very good, anyways. Um, right. Although I do have double XP on right now, which you may have noticed by now, but um, you know, it's Pokemon. At the end of the day, I'm gonna be level eighty punching things anyway, so yeah. And this is Gold Scott number three that's coming up, I think. Yep. No, uh, does he meet you there? Yeah. Right after the rival battle. I've really blocked Scott out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> like he's... Oh, and that's it. Okay, I'm BK'd again. <laughs> You're stuck? Oh, boy. Yep. Okay, now All hold. Right. Okay, now here's the question, though. <laughs> Are you gonna wait for me to finish self go? <laughs> About 20 minutes out, maybe 15 minutes out. Uh, <laughs> I just hit, it's fine. I'm just kidding. Yeah. It's I'm like, not, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm make you sit there doing right. nothing. <laughs> It'd be hilarious, but I'm not gonna make you do it. I don't, even, I don't even think I have any of the tickets yet. Can strength do anything for you? If uh, you not without badge? Magma Emblem. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Yeah, I don't have. So I guess I'm hitting two things here, Mega. Yeah, you, you have. You have to. We've we've really been yeah. dry on on fines. All right, Magma Emblem hint. Silco eighth floor. It's yep. coming. Uh... Yeah. Ro oh, Rocket Hideout. You do have. Uh, you don't have Hideout Key. Oh, you don't have hideout key. Yeah. Okay, um, so... Uh... Alright, so your Magma oh. Emblems and Silphco, you're gonna be getting that, but that doesn't do anything until uh, you actually strength, right? Base. Okay. Because I do have access to... We don't need bikes. What is that, like five, like three or five checks with, with without bikes? You're getting that too? I found the Leaf Stone! There you go. Should have gone. Should have gone to Silphco. Told you. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> You're peddling misinformation to our lovely viewers. <laughs> Am I chat, or is the evidence yes. speaking for no, itself? No, no, no. <laughs> They're getting what they came here for. They're already getting it. We don't. We don't need to make this look any more glorious than it is. It's a 35-minute time sink, where I feel my beard growing while we're in here. <laughs> Um, I do have super rods, so I guess I can fish. Silphco <laughs> East item. Is that locked behind card key? Not that it matters. I'm, just trying, to, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I've been I've been recreating Gen One in a map maker for charity. I'm trying to remember if that item... I know, I think the trainer is stuck behind the gate, not the item. So that would technically be Sphere 1. Not that right. that's going to matter because we don't need spheres. I just like, again, sounding... Look, frames and spheres. I'm a speedrunner. We got it there. Um, <laughs> you know, one one day someone's going to take that really seriously and they're going like, to kick me out of a marathon being like, are you actually not a speedrunner? I'm like, I am. <laughs> <laughs> What's what's my record again? The uh, beat Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke while eating sausages and green beans percent. God, <laughs> were you there for that? I think I was in at the end of that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Was it a was it a bingo? Was I doing Pokemon Red Bingo? I think I, I was think doing so. Pokemon Red Bingo while eating dinner, and then we just decided out of nowhere, like like a couple of speedrunners raided in, and they're like, "Holy cow!" <laughs> You're doing bingo while eating sausages and green beans. <laughs> That's your category now. Great. <laughs> Still world record holder of that, by the way. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Hokaflu, so we can find out what that not Raichu is. Uh, right. That actually is one door because I have access to Celadon. I haven't got a Celadon yet at all, so like I have access to all the doors. Um, I don't have access to Route 12 though. 
So that doesn't get me to that side of Fuchsia, and I don't have Surf to, to circumnavigate that either. Uh, yeah, I really I, surf. Surf would actually be not only just to make my slow bro better, but surf would be really good um, in general. Yeah, it's I mean, probably it's locked behind. Bit. It's probably locked behind Silco for me. You, you. <laughs> I'd like to formally announce that I am done speedrunning after this marathon. <laughs> the amount of Silco love just makes me nervous. <laughs> How many times am I gonna miss this crab hammer? At least two more. Fighting my way into the department store. You're that bored, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and ironically, it's not Shup It with Sandstream this time, it's Mistremis. Oh, even better. I love my non ghost ground types using Sandstream. <laughs> okay, uh. Oh wow, Gold Duck has Drizzle. That's just good. <laughs> Do I have a Max Ether up here? Oh, my cat's here. Huh. Hello, cat. Both of mine are asleep right now. <laughs> oh, Milo, please don't. This is not. Oh, this is blocked behind a door. Okay, so this would be a Sphere 2 check. Hi! What's your favorite Digimon, Milo? I, yeah, see, he actually yelled when I said Digimon. He's a he's a real Pokemon pet. <laughs> All right, let's see if I'm lucky enough. Nope. That's right. That trash right. can didn't need to stand up. You're right. Good call. <laughs> okay, I'm getting whatever was on seventh floor here. Your Poke Block case. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 17, so, 20, 33, 16. <laughs> Unfortunately, it would have been really cool to show everyone here what this what this place looks like without card key. Um, because you can actually you can actually do about, I wanna say, 70% of the checks just by taking warps. Um, nice. the fastest way to get to the card key slot, in case you ever want to play this casually again for some reason. And you really uh want to get through this place you just go to the fifth floor you step on the warp at the in the bottom left and then you just go back through it you can pick up card key and then from there you use the card key to open up the fifth floor the fifth floor uh door just to the right or to the left of it and then you can just go straight to your rival it's really funny <laughs> oh. hello hey, thanks for the ring Welcome in, everyone. You've come in during the most exciting time, where I've spent 30 minutes in one location, because that's what I have. I have to pay the Silfco tax, and Broken has to pay for that, too. Um, nope. Hope everyone's having a lovely day. I currently have my cat in the back trying to destroy everything while I'm trying to play video games. Oh, boy. You can't and hear him. I just got out of BK mode. Thing. Yes. No, I cannot. Okay, good. Because he's being a... You, you ate dinner, so what went right now? Is is the problem that people really like Omastar more than Kabutops? Is that the problem, Milo? <laughs> Not throwing my cat into this conversation, but I am at the same time. There you go, Raiders. Answer that question. Kabuto or... Kabuto? No, Kabut Kabutops. Kabutops. I'm oh, fine. Kabutops, Amistar, or Aerodactyl. Why is Aerodactyl? No one's ever talked about Aerodactyl in any of these conversations. Mega Aerodactyl is a thing. No it one exists. has talked about Mega Aerodactyl ever. Also, not that's a not single. Bad. Who actually? Who remembers that Aerodactyl had in a Mega Evolution? That's like remembering that Audino <laughs> has one. Audino has a Mega Evolution. Clearly, anybody can have a Mega Evolution if Audino gets it. Hey, to be fair, Mega Audino did win a world championship. And I played that deck. Before anyone else did, and no one gave me a medal for it. <laughs> Just needed you to be, be better. You could be a ninja. I was winning on that ladder with with Mega Audino decks before it was cool. <laughs> Dude, Kabutops better than the other thing. There you go, Noom. You got someone. Yay! That's all that matters. You just need that. You just need that one person to brighten your day. <laughs> I mean, frankly, I, do have I also. 
<laughs> I do have somebody backing me up, though, on the, uh, on the, uh, Iridactyl. <laughs> like, I never claimed I don't, like, I don't hate, hate like, I, I physically cannot hate a single Pokemon, right? <laughs> I am a big Garbodor enjoyer. Right? I actually really like Vanillux. I think it's really cute that the way that they designed North America was to literally be trash bags and ice cream. Um, I feel really <laughs> proud that we that's our representation and ought to know. But, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Objectively, Pokemon is just a wonderful, wonderful franchise. <laughs> well, I, I, USA I would, I would Jam. Be, <laughs> I, I would be saying Canada, but yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, USA chance. We can go with that, too. <laughs> All right, I'm BK again. <laughs> Dude. This is... Okay, but here's it the question, though. How many, how many checks have you done, though? Uh, What do you mean? <laughs> how many uh, like, how many total? Oh, yeah, no, that's a good question. Because I'm, I'm concerned that if you start hinting <laughs> for things that we don't have... Two, like, if it's a two-piece that you're going to be stuck, and I'm just... We're just really hoping that something goes well. Okay, I got lift key. That's not hideout key. No, oh, lift key is not I need, I need hideout key. key, right? Yeah. Okay. This is actually another trainer that doesn't catch you on the way down. For some reason, when you when you load up the screen, the vision doesn't catch you. But if I go the I other think way, it will catch me. I think another thing that'll get me a decent amount of checks is... Because... Pokeblock case got me five. Another thing that'll get me five is Go Goggles. Okay. If it if it comes to the point where you're waiting longer than, let's say, oh, it's in your world, oh boy. Oh yeah. Where is it? A seafloor cavern. Oh no. So I prob I probably don't need those. <laughs> probably. Well. You've now willed that into existence. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we don't need that. Remember the last time we said that? Uh, <laughs> That's that? You know, we don't have Juan, but Seafloor Cavern is right before Juan. Yeah, true. The spirit of Juan haunting this marathon again. But at least we do know that logically, all we need to do for that is uh, just Find save the else. Uh, space. No, save the space center to get Seafloor unlocked. Yeah, but you still need Surf and Bounce Batch and Night yeah. Batch. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's, uh... That's great. It's great. Yeah, that's great. That's good. That's good. Can't see right now. I've got the, the silliest smile on my face right now, and it won't draw. <laughs> <sighs> on the right side, though, I did buy a Flamethrower TM, so... You want to pass it over here? You want to do exclamation gift? Actually, that is something you can do. You can set up where if you do multiple Pokemon Reds or Emeralds or stuff like that in the same multi-world, you can send items or money and stuff like that to each other. It's a really neat feature they put in a little while ago. Yeah, I think uh, Emerald even has... Um, I think Emerald even has Wonder Trading. Yeah, you have Wonder Trading too, which is awesome. Yeah. You could pass over that superpower Mewtwo next time. <laughs> Have any of the TMs be good? Uh, let's go through my list, shall we? So we got Safeguard, Magical Leaf, Water Sport, Belly Drum, Blaze Kick, Dragon Rage, Destiny Bond, Flamethrower, Tracheon, Knockoff, Rolling Kick, Return, Hyper Fang, Hydra Cannon, Lick, False Swipe, Double Slap, Slam, Mean Look, Haze, Snatch, Sweet Kiss, Nature Power, Rock Tomb. So, not really. Can I say all of you vanish, please? <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> Uh, the outliers are Belly Drum, Flamethrower, and yeah. Been slapped by an Electrode AMA. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost at, I'm at the top here, and then I'm gonna- I'm gonna finish Silph Code just to get the doors unlocked. And then, yep. um... Uh, 38, 25, 14, 15. <sighs> okay, I've got- I've got some items. So now I'm getting to the point where my- my inventory is very lucrative and i can keep myself in any location i go to I, I realistically this is the longest location even though it has a nurse uh this and rock tunnel would will be the most powerpoint taxing areas just because the 15 fights in uh in rock tunnel has like some of them have three or four pokemon so you just need a lot of attacks it's not just about power in this particular game it's also about having just powerpoints in general why did i use leech seed i did i did it yeah Oh, chat, don't cry. Self-content yeah, may be over, but 
You still have hideout content waiting for you. Yeah, we have. Okay, but I don't mind hideout though. Hideout's fast. Um, that's probably the best TM that could have. All right, I'll just have to rebuy that. You sell <laughs> I it forgot. To my ex, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that was uh, TM fourteen was psychic. <laughs> oh, want to pass that over too? <laughs> I got a baby Mewtwo over here that could use that. Here's another TM. 45. Right. It still astounds me how easy Silphco is once you know how it works. They made it look so complicated and boom, here I am, done, easy. Okay, so I actually step up here because something that I'm very proud of is uh, I want Digimon to walk faster. So instead of me fighting him just walking directly to the left, if I walk up, it saves me. Hey, get ready for this. Five steps, because my steps are half steps because I'm moving twice the speed. So technically, I'm saving like three steps in this run, which probably saves maybe a second or two in a four hour speed run. Enormous development. Very proud of myself to determine that. And there are <laughs> many times I'm going to make Digimon walk in places they're not used to walking. Now I'm just kind of doing inventory control. Oh, well, trying to I guess... buy stuff and <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. Yep. No, it's, 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 it's come to that. Yep. No, no, no. It's it's rap hit one Lee. Oh. Oh no. All right. So here's another Gen One. There's just so many Gen One learning lessons. It's man, it's a really good thing I'm a teacher. Um. So first of all, Gen One, your enemies have infinite power points. Also in Gen 1, rap moves... Oh, thank goodness I didn't use it anymore. Rap moves just completely incapacitate you until they're done. And you can chain that as long as you're faster than your opponent. In Gen 1, competitive OU, you can run a Dragonite with Rap, a Cloister with Clamp, and a Fire Spin Moltres if you want to be the most hated person on the ladder. I ran that. <laughs> and I, uh... I got pretty high on the smoke on ladder for a while. Moltres is also just a good counter to Zixter. That's besides the point. The whole point is if we ever find a faster Pokemon, that's going to be the one big weakness of Slowbro. Our speed makes us very susceptible to chain sleep and chain trapping moves. Because sleep, you don't actually get your turn when you wake up. So they can actually just put you back to sleep after. It's And, and you healing doesn't matter because there's input reading in this game. So they can actually just predict that you're going to wake up through an item and then use four or something like that again. It's uh, part of the reason why your main in Gen 1 especially matters so, so much. You want speed, you want high levels, you want an exceptional moveset because, oh wow, I could evolve both those guys. Um, there are just so many things that can go wrong. I was mentioning before uh, the run started that I had a Golduck with Surf and there was a Mewtwo 47 levels lower than it, and it still lived the hit. That's That just rings testament to how mechanics in this game work. It's unbelievable. Crunch, yes. Alright, I now have an actual fully special Mewtwo, thankfully. So did you say that your Mewtwo's gonna be biting people? Yep, no, crunching. I think that's still- that's just a big bite. Okay, big biting people? <laughs> yep, big biting. Uh, what was 38? 38 was true here. That wasn't worth it. Alright. That was a successful shopping trip. <laughs> okay, everybody say goodbye to Silphco. All the Silphco enjoyers. We'll see you later. Thanks for coming to the marathon. I understand. That's all you came here for. <laughs> Also, there's a hole in the ground, so I can escape rope out of this place. Uh, boy, what, what would get me... Hmm? I'm just trying to think what would get me out of this predicament. No, I, I think I just gotta <laughs> keep trying to go as fast as I possibly can. I'm, I'm trying my best. Now, oh, okay, here's another great place, Mount Moon. Uh, this could get us something. Oh, yeah, okay. This is, this is a lot of checks. Okay. Yeah. And I should be outspeeding everything in here, so this will go better. Alright. 
Yeah, so be the best thing I could find right now is Mount Moon and Rock Tunnel. Rock Tunnel is also randomized. We'll explain that when we get there. Uh, but I'm going <laughs> to do it in the dark because I don't play with Flash logic because who likes Flash? Not me. Flash is as good of an HM as... D okay, well, wait a minute. I got a question for you, Broken. Uh -huh. Which HM insults you more, Flash or Defog? Flash. Really? You're okay with Defog. Like, I'm, I'm talking not competitive, I'm talking in-game. Like, when they tried to make it totally dark and just slow you down that way, was that more of an offender than them literally setting up a weather status that made you miss two-thirds of the time? Um... I never really had issues in the fog, so... <laughs> you liked you it? You fun with that one. I never had issues with it. What do you mean you never had issues with fog? I never had issues with it. Did you play Gen 4? I did, I play- and here's the thing. When I played Gen 4, I played Platinum as my first Gen 4 game. Okay, that's the only game you should play anyways, but yeah. Yeah. But you- but- but Fog sucks. I- I never had that many issues with it. When I was going through it, I never- I never really had any issues with- with running into it. Like, I wasn't missing a lot of the times. Well, I I guess that's okay then, that you're just incredibly lucky and don't have to worry about <laughs> fog. That must be I nice. Used, what is that like? I used up all my luck in Gen 4, though. That's the yeah. thing. <laughs> what, what is it like to just be amazing for just existing? I wish everybody could enjoy that. You know, you don't have to deal you don't have to deal with the issues of having defog be a thing. I did. Uh <laughs> Hey, you asked that, how it felt, and I told you how it felt. And I'm, sorry, I'm, you can't I'm, I'm really it. happy for you. I'm, I'm so <laughs> glad that you do not share the absolute incredible negative experiences I had with Fog and that that swamp stuff and the snow. For some reason, Gen 4, you know, every like game has a theme of, you know, music in Gen 5, which was spectacular. Gen 9 with the open world, like all this good stuff. Gen 4's theme was finding every possible way to make you hate it. <laughs> I just feel like I had to get that off my chest. You have to understand, I have a really bad main, and like I'm, I, you're, you're stuck in BK, and I feel bad. <sighs> I feel better after saying that. Thanks for listening. You're welcome. I'm here for you. Chat's here for you. Chat's here. <laughs> We've just met, but I'm really glad that you're listening to my Gen 4 hate rant. Thank you. Not actually hate, just just it blows my mind sometimes thinking about that stuff. You ever just try and make a new friend by by going there and just giving the most controversial take in the universe, like a like a tasteful controversial take? That would that would require actually getting out and talking to people. Oh, uh, you know what? You're right. This is this is why. So it's. It's it's very interesting when we when we do archipelago for for marathons. We've done multiple marathons now. Um, it was pointed out by someone else, uh, another one of our, our our friends who does who does uh, Zelda in our in our multi worlds. And it's it's interesting because in case you can't tell, I'm the really talkative eccentric one, and Broken's more of like the reserved sort of like hits the good punchlines sort of deal. So we have this all working. We don't practice this; it just happens. But I always forget. Whenever I start talking about social interactions, the, the, the mood in the call changes <laughs> because I can hear all of my friends just kind of like curling up into their Omastar shells. And I was actually like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I said the T word talking. <gasps> <laughs> and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I just constantly forget that. <laughs> you know? Some yeah, people are uh, <laughs> more reserved. And it's crazy, it's like, I'm this really socially anxious person, and yet my job is dealing with the public. But, you know, that tends to be why you have the job, is it just happens that way. <laughs> yeah, see? Even chat. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Doesn't know, know the interactions. I mean, let's let's be real, though, I'm not gonna get into anything with it, but there are... You really, it's really hard to find people to talk to these days. Because either everybody's thinking the same thing, or like, oh, I mean, they probably don't like me. Like, oh, I don't know, they like me either, right? And then you have the, it's got like, you know, that. And then you have people like me who are terrifying. 
I've told you that story <laughs> once when I was teaching at karate that, like, a kid was scared of me because I was a good teacher. Oh. Like, no. I was a vo like, I was a vocal teacher. Like, first of all, I had to shave my beard, apparently, because I looked like a terrifying monster, which was ridiculous, because... Yeah. But, uh, like, I had a student, they wouldn't work with me because I was loud. And I'm, and I'm like, okay, yes, I have a loud male deeper voice we're also in karate and you know at the end of every form you have to ki -ai. so i don't know what to tell you so we, we like they weren't working with me and they had to be in the other room it, it, they didn't tell us anything about like audio sensory um issues about that right. I, I understand right but uh no it's just this kid found me really intimidating to to preface this i'm a five foot four really short and like lanky dude the biggest muscle in my body is my neck, and <laughs> apparently I have a very intimidating pose. Like, I stand with purpose and, and I guess, I don't know, existence? Like Kids that. are hilarious. What? <laughs> Can you confirm that, Broken, when you watch my streams? <laughs> Do I have imposing 5'4 intimidating energy? No. Uh, but the, uh, kids are kids are crazy, I can confirm that. <laughs> Having two friends that have three of them. Even f It's even funnier when you're teaching, you just mention a po- like, I use, I use a lot of games, and I use Pokemon to teach probability. Which is a mistake, by the way. Because then they <laughs> really start hating Pokemon. Because then they realize some of them don't understand how the numbers work. And they're sitting there going, wait, is that what that 85 means? Why would I ever use it? I go, welcome to the existence of old RPGs. You wouldn't <laughs> know that, because Pecky Magie, this is what we lived for, rolling dice without saying it was dice. <laughs> Fun fact about Mount Moon, by the way, if you come in backwards from the, ba from the, from the other side, the flag for you fighting this super nerd is, on the, is only on the tile I'm currently standing on. So if you make him walk to the other side, you can skip this fight. I discovered that this week. Yeah, I think it was uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Just like I discovered I could do those fights, uh, those uh, questions and get out of here. <laughs> yeah, that was I'm... today. <laughs> that was today. Always learning. That's what we like. So this fossil choice will go to wherever Cinnabar Lab is. It's not a big deal. There can never be anything progressive on it. Uh, that's merely a setting. Uh, it's actually not a setting. That's just the way that the rando works. So I'm going to go check these two doors out here, because if, if I do this, I'm done with the Lavender side completely. And then, yeah. I don't know, man. I think I've got all of Celadon. I have... I've got Bill's house. I guess Celadon yeah, makes horse sense. Path. Yeah, Celadon's probably the next. It just, it just makes sense. Like, I don't think I have... I don't have Pokedol yet, right? You haven't sent me one? Uh, I saw a Pokedol. I don't know if it oh, really? me or you. I should check that, because I can at least get those two checks. Oh, I didn't... Oh, no, I skipped her free check. I'll go do that before I... I keep forgetting she has a free check. Oh, did you did you also do the uh, juggler? I did hit the juggler. Okay, uh, SSN. SSN. This is 19 checks. Okay. And the best music in the game. <laughs> Cat Jam. Hell. Knuckle Badge. No, wait, what? Knuckle I was like, Knuckle Badge. I scrolled up. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh man. If it okay, no, I don't think me hinting. I was gonna say because you're waiting too long, I could hint one item in my universe. I guess I could. I could hint hideout key, right? Because you really need that rocket one. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. Just so, I don't want you sitting there for too long. Yeah. Hint, hint hideout key. I'll hit the hideout key. Watch, it's gonna be an SSN. I had a key. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, so... It's in your world, because it didn't oh, pop up Oh, no! <laughs> oh, boy, okay. How do I explain this? Oh, God. <laughs> so the, okay, so... Oh, man. All right. Follow me. Uh-huh. The door I need to go through is actually Cerulean Cave. Which requires uh -huh. 11 key items, which I don't uh -huh. think I have yet, and also requires Surf. Ah. Uh -huh. 
And it's in the gym. Giovanni's oh. gym. Which is oh. okay, but the issue is... I need Surf and more key items. Uh-huh. Because I'm counting them right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I have nine. Oh, ten. I might actually have eleven. Hold on, can I count? So strength is like game. Five, six, seven. Oh, actually, I might have eleven. So I'm looking for Surf right now. Okay. I think I just okay. bare. Uh, I can't remember if map does map. No map counts. Does map count? I can't remember now. It should. No, it should. I think it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I should have eleven because I, I just noticed I have the rod. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I have exactly eleven. So I need to find Surf, and then once yeah. I find Surf, I can go there, beat up the Tamer, and then give you strength. Because it's not too late game. I just have to go through Nugget Bridge. Oh, or, okay. sorry, insert sponsored brand bridge. We'll see that when we get there. Right. Uh, but essentially, sorry. that's not happening. So, uh, do I hit Surf? Probably. Just to just to keep this run. How are we doing on time? One forty-eight. Yeah, one forty-eight. How long have you been under there for? We said thirty Probably minutes. About, about yeah, that's, I think that's about where I've been. What does it say on the multi world tracker? I can't check right now. Uh, is that the actual web page? Yeah, if you go to the web page, just click on uh, multi world tracker. It'll show you the time you've been active for, or have been inactive for, rather. Gotcha. Let me go check. This does not reflect the average AP experience, by the way. This is just oh, no. unfortunate. <laughs> uh, 20 minutes. And, um, I, and I think I'm still going to do it because we're almost two hours in and we have absolutely nothing for you. Yeah. All right. So, uh, wait, hold on. Let me talk to this person first. Okay, good. Hint HM03. Oh, I'm going to get it right now. Oh, Amazing. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So we were on the right track. I would have, I'm going to be honest with you, wouldn't have gone to Cerulean Cave. So I'm glad we used hints. Right. Um, I'm also going to hint uh, Scope, because Scope would allow me to fight uh, uh, Winona. Winona, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's Meteor Falls. So yeah, no, nah, eh, that's yeah. not for a while. You probably, you, you probably don't need that. Okay, I'm gonna do yeah. this. I'm gonna do this backwards. I'm gonna go. Wait, no, getting my surf doesn't do anything for me right now because I gotta finish this place. Where right, do you? Yeah, or, you what am I getting from you from thing again? Uh, my brain's all over the place. What are we doing? Heat badge, because that'll let me do magma. Does that give you enough t checks to do, or is it just going to bring you to, like, a five-minute BK? Uh, Magma Hideout is... One, two, three, five, seven, eight, oh, eight, I just gave checks. you Dive. Yeah, I don't have Surf, though. Um, I know, but okay. So, Ma so Magma would give me... Magma would give me about seven or eight checks. Then I can in the submarine then that opens up but I will I don't have surf so it gives that's me about eight checks. but that is interesting that I gave you mind badge because that means now you have access to dive once you can dive once so I can that surf. makes yeah. um, sorry that's what I meant yeah the ability to dive that just I don't know though what does that mean what does that mean logically it means logically probably this game is messing means, with us. probably means that I'm gonna have to dive as soon as I start I would I say, surfing. yeah, 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 you definitely need to, yeah. It definitely so needs to die first. I'll probably do the, I'll probably do 26, 126, 127, then move over to Maz Deep, beat Tate and Liza. I've given you a bunch of keys too, like you have two or 24, key. 26. Yeah, yeah, it's really wanting me to dive. All right. The thing is though, like... It's rando, we're just we're just assuming. But uh I hope that gives something, because I'm well, but at the same time, how many badges are you up to now? Two or three? You should be up to Two. three now, right? Oh three, yeah, that's my third. Yeah. So at least if you got balance badge, that's kind of on par with how many badges you have by two hours. So True. if we could find yeah. you at least if we can at least find you that, there's my surf, which is a huge upgrade to Slowbro. 
Um, also gives me access to Cinnabar. I can go use that mansion key. I can also go do the Cerulean Cave, which is what we were talking about. Uh, yep. I think I think now it's Balance and Surf that are yeah, it's got, it's it's what it's be. pointing towards. So I'm going to hint those. I don't think you have. I, how many hint points do you have, though? Hint the badge first, please, because then I know where that is in my world. True. Rock Tunnel North. In Celadon. Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. That's where that's where I was going next, so. Um, excellent. If you have enough hints, you can go for, for Surf, but. Uh, one point shy. Oh, no. Okay, so what I'll, okay, so to, to, to facilitate that, I'll go get the Heat Badge for you. No, then you'll have five badges, give me the Heat Badge, perfect. There, have Flash. Enjoy. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll make this easy for you, and then uh, you can get some hint points, and we can figure out where that surf is. Yep. There's a lot more hinting than I expected. That's that's uh, just the reality of this, I guess. It happens. It happens. That is rando. And we were saying we'd be out of here in three hours. Still good. Still good. Still absolutely good. I'm just gonna get some levels right now. As much as much weight, in our opinion, as a PB for a randomizer, <laughs> we have finished this as fast as a 327. Mm -hmm. uh, that was with some very linear progression. And uh, a lot of luck. In this case... Oh, I do have a polka doll. Okay, I'll go do that check after, too. Uh, we have some TMs here. Crab hammer. Funny. Yes, this is a randomizer multi-world. Yep. You want Mega Drain? Kinda do, don't I? Probably. It's only base 40, but... It's better than Leech Seed. But yeah, randomized multi-worlds. Uh, some of the settings... We've kind of gone over this at the beginning, but uh, all my badges are in Noob's world, and all of the Noob's badges are in my world. So we have to help each other defeat each other's games. I didn't get back. I don't think I need Thunderbolt for this place anyways. Oh, I'm running out of moves, though. I'll just, I'll just spam Surf, no big deal. Yeah, we've ended up in a very interesting predicament where uh, my world opened up too much and Broken has nothing to do, so we are just making the best of it. On the bright side, once we do get all that access for Broken, he can he can zoom through it. And it also means that he won't be so stuck going through uh, Victory Road, because sometimes that could be a big sticking point where we are about to finish, but he's missing, like, an HM or, or a badge for an HM that is required to get through Evergrande. So... This is about the probably one of the better case scenarios of being stuck with really bad logic. Rather, very slow logic, not bad logic. Just me. So coming up, we're going to have another fight with Digimon. We're, of course, going to win because Pokemon truly are the champions over Digimon. Uh, I'm also going to do a Digimon manipulation strat where I'm going to make him walk on the left. It doesn't mean anything. He just leaves the screen one step faster. Which saves like half a second! In a four hour speedrun. I think this gentleman's a pharmacist. That's a lot of... A lot of vitamins I just got. Alright, so here we go. So I'm gonna walk on the right side. Boom! He's gonna leave the screen faster after we send Digimon back to the 90s. I was trying to think of which monster tamer to like 
What is the ride? I usually do that with the marathon runs. Like uh, I have another run coming up where it's a it's a it's a catch them all, but like with a Tetris board. So the you know it's 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 supposed to be a marathon about hundred percenting things. So you know the rival will be any percent. Back when we did uh, some other charity ones, I just named the rival after like things that the marathons stood against and stuff like that. So. I just chose Digimon. Digimon fits. That's why I chose it, really. I tried Zatch Bell. It didn't work very well. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna get off the screen just a tiny bit faster. I think he actually takes the same step to meet me there, though, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so we're done here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get myself over to Cerulean Cave. It's not gonna be fast, because I have to take the bridge. Which is sponsored by a random item today. See if we have a good sponsor for it. Where am I even? I don't even know where I am on my map. Where was this? Oh, it was on Route 8? Okay, so this is done here. I'm going to check this door really quickly because it's just right here, so I have to come back here. I have to come back here? Oh, man, come on. <laughs> This is a seed for the people. All right. What a seed. It's beautiful. Broken, I think you might be muted. I was. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like, you knew that I wasn't cutting off. Look, Digimon part three. Here he's again. <laughs> And yeah, now I'm just kind of level grinding through the uh, SS Aqua right now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get your um, your strength soon. Okay. I'm just gonna be uh, insert sponsorship bridge here. Uh, everybody, let's hope for HMO three bridge. That'd be ideal. I have sir. I have sir. Not yours. Oh, your HMO three. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> That's right. I guess you are playing a game with me, aren't you? You're not. Yeah. You're not just. You're not just the voice. <laughs> not just the voice inside your head. Not just the voice. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not actually playing two games at the same time. I've tried doing that. It just. I, I couldn't get the hook up right. My controller doesn't do it. <laughs> okay, so not none of these trainers can have a progressive item, but the bridge item can. Also, we're going to be coming up to one of the four named trainers that we have. There are four trainers on the overworld that require an HM to get to. This one requires Surf. Her name is Cerulean Claire. We also have Plant Pierre, Doc Danny, and Ledge Linda, who we don't talk about. Ledge Linda doesn't ever give anything. She's very mean. And before Ledge Linda has... Ledge Linda... Ha no, you were right about Silphco. I will not allow you to be right about <laughs> And Silphco's a gimme, because it has, like, 30 items. Right. Ledge Linda has two. She has to earn the name that Doc Danny has, because Doc Danny pays out real well. Doc Danny <laughs> generally delivers when we have a seed like this, so we're looking forward to finding access to Doc Danny. Plant Pierre, I mean... Hit or miss. He's hit or miss. But Ledge Linda, she has done nothing for my career as a randomizer player. <laughs> And we even gave her a better name than what I had before. I don't remember what her name was before. I did. Yeah, it was that bad. <laughs> oh, she was. She was. Um, was she just tree lady? Yeah. <laughs> Back, I used to name him like plant dude. No, it was yeah. doc dude. Then we gave him doc Danny. And then it yeah. was plant guy. Plant guy was plant guy. And then we had. Uh, 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 the Cerulean one is it's a bit dated language, but. Uh, then we had, she was Tree Lady. I think she, no, she yeah. was Surf Girl. She was Surf Girl, that's what it was. I'm thinking of something different. Um, she was Surf Girl, and then we had the Tree Lady, and Tree Lady, we gave her Ledge Linda, and she's just... She's I think like, Zeph's nothing. the one that came up with that. She came up with Ledge Linda? I think so. I don't remember. It was either that or Doc Danny. It was one or the other. I thought Pruden came up, no, Pruden came up with Plant Pierre, right? Yeah, Pruden came up with Pierre. Right. It was a great name. Wonderful name. Regardless, those are the four trainers I have to go fight in case you lost why we were talking about that. 
Uh, <laughs> we're truly trying to fill the space, and now, in this 16-page dissertation, I'm going to explain to you why Pokemon Gen 1 mm -hmm. should never be replicated ever again. <laughs> Mainly it's mechanics. We've come a long way from DVs and speed-based Oko moves. Right. All right, this bridge is sponsored by a Macho Brace. Hey, it's a fitness sponsorship today. Nice. Hey, <laughs> there you go. $1,500 for you. Nice prize yeah. for doing nothing. Oh, yeah. Okay, Tamer 2. Where's Tamer 2 in the gym? Tamer 2. Black Belt Master is... I think they look like the cool trainers. So I think he might be the guy staring at the top around that item. Ah, it's two Pokemon for the price of one. Minkata. When's the Shedinja only speedrun? Is that Pokemon speedruns TV? i pay to watch <laughs> that. I actually would. Right. I have exactly enough. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this item first for you. Good old Focus Sash Shedinja. You'd have to be able to buy Focus Sashes. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, it's you. I think you're Tamer too. Oh, that's a Tamer! Nope, that's a Cool Trainer, dang it! That they is all have true. whips! Believe me, if it was a higher level Ninkata, I would have considered it. <laughs> Why, though? No. Well, Shedinja! No! <laughs> It's it's got a lot of no! it's got a lot of attack, believe it or it's not. It's got a lot of nothing. It's got ninety <laughs> attack and forty speed. Yeah, but it's I also have team. I also have. Oh, well, how does Belly Drum work on him? It don't. It doesn't. You you actually can't yeah. cut the health. Yeah. Yeah. You you know what? I'm just gonna fight all these guys. I think this guy's a black belt. I mean, honestly, I'd watch that. I'd watch a task of a Shedinja only speedrun. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I would love to see the RNG minip that would have to go into that to make that work. Be a lot of fun to do. Too. You can do it. Can I be there when 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 you task it? <laughs> I know we don't know each other, but that sounds really cool, and I want to be friends with someone who can task a Shedinja only speedrun. <laughs> 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 it's time for everyone in chat to flex their greatest accomplishment in life. <laughs> Found it. There we go. Okay, that's hideout key. I'm gonna fi I'm gonna finish this though because it's it's in Cerulean Cave, so I might forget where it is. So like five more minutes broken, and then you can start playing again. <laughs> Butterfree percent. Oh, that's cool. I mean, my greatest speedrun accomplishment would be probably what's coming up in two weeks with the catch -em all Tetris randomizer. <laughs> that's, uh... That's a speedrun. Wow, Caterpie with Flashfire. That's, oh, that's how you're going to win Butterfree percent in any game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think my biggest accomplishment would probably be that player race we did um, with Gamma and uh... oh Which race? it was the it, it was the uh, randomized Pokemon TCG oh the TCG rando that's because we didn't know that's how self-destruct works <laughs> but you did you did abuse it and you won fair and square that is true <laughs> Nine Gen 1 misses in a row. You deserve a pizza for having to make that happen. Like your favorite pizza. All the toppings that you want for free. <laughs> Even under 20 minutes. That's impressive. Oh. Uh, Flamethrower TM would be nice right now. I know it's asking a lot, but... Flamethrower Ice Beam, you know, psychic. Wow. 
and I'm sitting over here with the sausage and green beans while doing a bingo. Percent. Actually, I think one of the hardest runs I've ever had to do was that speed run with who did I who did I do that emerald race with? Where we had to it was it was uh it was back when we were testing Nuzlocke speed runs. And it was just like to two badges or whatever, and there's that one 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 run I remember. Or it we basically played it like Kaizo Iron Mon. And mm -hmm. we had a Bell Sprout against a Metagross, randomized moveset. Mm -hmm. And the order and the amount of RNG we needed to win that particular fight against Roxanne was disgusting. Because I believe that Metagross had Flash Fire. So we had to get mm -hmm. Constrict sp Oh yeah, I remember now. It's Constrict Speed Drops. And then we had to flinch it with Bite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was... It was like, who was, was that with... That was my old... Like, I have a friend from, like, eight years ago. Milo, do you remember? No? Okay. I don't think so. There's your, oh, there's my strength. Oh. That's something. Uh oh. Okay. That is, that is interesting. Okay. So with my strength, I have all of the strength locations open. Um, I don't think they're the wisest ones to go in to because I have easier places to go to. Right? I'm going to go to hideout no matter what. I'm not going to get baited by shiny. Right. Stuff. Yeah, don't or get baited maybe by shiny. Uh, don't get fine. baited oh, by shiny. <laughs> okay, you know what? Then I have to leave Bill's house. I hate to say it, but Bill's <laughs> got to be left alone again. I know you always love when Bill's left alone. <laughs> I, I personally don't mind leaving Bill out of it. <laughs> if you're okay with that, man. Don't get baited by shiny. Come on, man, the shinies. <laughs> I am doing Route 4, though, because otherwise, I like, the whole point of me finishing this gym was to not have to come back here. And that's on the ledge and everything, and I gotta surf it all over again. It's a waste of time. So, I'm gonna check the one door. I won't, if it's something long, if it's, rock, no, it won't be Rock Tunnel, right? We know where that is? Do we? We do, it's Route 12. Uh, is it tell we discovered something in Rock Tunnel, didn't we? Um... I thought it... Yeah, what's up? Oh, no, it's in Mansion. Sell it on Mansion. Never mind, we're good. What, what's what's my cat doing? What's wrong? No, you, disco oh. you discovered Mountain Moon, not Rock Tunnel. No, but we know where uh, Rock Tunnel is. We know where hit. Rock Tunnel is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, well, maybe my cat's stuck downstairs. Did you get stuck? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go take care of my IRL... Or a cat, or it will use flamethrower on me. Sorry, give me one second here. Uh -oh. <laughs> he's, he's, he's looking like he's ready to use lunge, pounce, and baby crunch. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go. And I'm pretty sure with, like, vanilla, Minkata's pretty early on, ain't it? Almost positive on that one. Let me fight you. Got nothing else to do right now. Never mind, my cat used fake tears. Anyways. <laughs> what a move set. <laughs> what? What? Fl <laughs> Flamethrower, pounce, lunge, crunch, and fake tears? Yeah. Like... I don't cheat in Pokemon games, you're right. <laughs> You've heard of four move syndrome. Just be like my cat. Have five moves. <laughs> and have an IRL Pokemon, apparently. No. Huh? Feather badge, I'm glad I came over here. Okay. That doesn't help him, but it is a badge towards the end goal. Yep. Good. Okay, it's a useless place. This is wonderful. I am heading to Rocket Hideout. <coughs> AKA Silphco Light. So Silphco enjoyers, you can once again rejoice. Yeah, after Roxanne and Kata Shedinja. Yeah, that sounds about correct. I'm ready to watch it. I I will pull out the gluten free popcorn. That yeah, switch train Ninkata and Roxanne's gym while using Mudkip. That sounds right. Cool. I'm excited now. <laughs> I haven't done 
alt main speed run or randomizer speed runs in a while. Should go back to that, but I used to do Nuzlocke mode, so it was like I like Kaizo Iron Mon, but it just took whatever I found, just try to run it as quickly as possible. I haven't done, you know what I haven't done? My nine gen Dunsparce only speed run in a while. Oh yeah. Because now I can actually do Gen 9 with it. Mm -hmm. We're sorry if we gave you more work, but we're excited that we gave you more work. <laughs> right? <laughs> I hope you have fun. I'm saying he's got plenty of time since... I'm, I'm glad they do. I'm glad they do. I mean, you do have you do have to stare at a Shedinja. Yeah, I mean, technically. Long speed runs I always consider just a podcast at this point. <laughs> oh man, I love like I love watching long speed runs. They're my favorite. Seven hours of Super Mario 64, I'm freaking in. <laughs> like just literally do it. You just have something you have like your personal project in the back or you got work going, all you hear is once in a while, it just keeps you alive. It makes you feel alive, man. <laughs> Nothing better than just randomly tuning in. You hear some tech that you're like, yep, tune him back out. And then you just keep <laughs> listening. <laughs> oh, this man's talking about OOB again. Yeah, okay, you have you have fun with your with your doom gun. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to I don't know, painting trees. Self scope, that's really good, because I already found a Pokemon Tower. So where were, you were floor three, right? Uh, That's good, because I'm going to that right now. I think so. Well, I'm glad we're not just two babbling weird dudes. <laughs> we are we are very glad. Hopefully people are enjoying this. Yeah. We, we like to show off Archipelago. If you ever want to try it, slight shameless plug to it, but archipelago.gg. I am technologically terrible at anything and everything and have curses with tech and I'm able to set this up. It's, it has a very loving community. So many people are playing it now and I'm not I'm not exaggerating. A ton of people are playing Archipelago. If you want to get your Poke World on, feel free to. Like like you can run you can run rooms up to thousands of players if you ever want to do this part of your community, bring communities together. I've met many people through it. It's it's just a really fun time and I'm really glad that um, with especially with randomizers being brought into, into marathons, that archipelago gets to shine. Whether it's a run that's working really well, or you got this run where Broken's sitting there for 35 minutes waiting for me to do something. At least I'm trying to. At least I'm trying to do something so that you it's not just me. Yeah. You get to sit back. You don't have your thumb constantly mashing like I do right now. Because <laughs> for some reason they didn't put Turbo A into Gen One of all games. They need to really put Turbo A in. <laughs> Yeah, I have Turbo A. It's nice. I, I'm, I, you know, once again, I'm really glad. If you want to send the Turbo A over with that superpower Mewtwo, and everything else that you get to enjoy as it's the lesser working anymore. one, <laughs> it's not superpower anymore. Oh, was it now? Uh, Needle Arm Crunch Psychic Flamethrower. That's pretty good. Yeah. So now, if you actually don't destroy a Chansey or a Bliss, you have a real reason that you can't do it. Yeah, it, it okay. took me uh, it took me five hits to end the blissy. So it is really cool with uh, with Rocket Hideout how smooth you can go through every floor and get all the checks in one go. A um, little bit of playing around with it. Like I, I've never really watched videos or stuff like that. I've just kind of learned how to play faster and sort of just use my like like literally decades of Pokemon knowledge to sort of figure out what I like for going quick. It has some really neat things, especially with Sylph goes. I was, like I said, you know, with the warp uh, pathing and stuff like that, there's a lot of neat hey. things that you can do just to kind of clean this this place out. Effectively, I guess. All right, Broken's got at least eight things to do. Whoop. There's my SS ticket. Don't need that anymore. That would open up where the SS Andor is. We already oh. found that, and we know we don't need it. As and we already as have get... Cerulean Cave, so we're done with that. As soon as I get my first uh, item, I'm going to Um, I, I wouldn't. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, I wouldn't because you might have it. That's true. That is. It true. could be a really short uh, logic chain with that, right? That could be. Yeah. 
So yeah, let me plus, do all the checks. Yeah, plus I have a bunch of checks that I'm getting right now, so you should probably just wait to- oh my goodness. I could be finding it within the next two minutes, you never know. True. Alright, where did I put- I put them at the top. That's where I put them. My god, you don't want to do this place without a max repel. You could have just said you need max repels, and you would have been accurate. <laughs> am I am I wrong at all with what I said either? I mean, you're gonna hold that silk over thing all all day, aren't you? That's, <laughs> that's gonna be the joke that's gonna be buried in Lavender Tower, <laughs> along with my soul. Especially since Silphco was in Lavender Tower's location. Amazing. I, I just I just make the jokes that are presented to me. I'm glad that what I have is a joke to you. <laughs> I'll take it. I've made money from it before, it's great. <laughs> Pretty, pretty lukewarm take. Money's great. <laughs> In case someone needed to hear it, money's pretty cool. Until it causes problems. But, I mean, until if you have cool money, you don't gotta worry about that. That's just cool money. You ever just like hey. to walk into a sandwich shop and just get a sandwich and not have to worry about getting a sandwich? It's the greatest feeling in the universe. Cannot fault you there. You know what I'm just really grateful for? Now that, like, gluten-free pizzas, with all my health issues, gluten-free pizzas actually taste amazing now. But, Bor, I gotta help my friends move next week, and I'm very tempted to go pick up a gluten-free garlic pesto pizza. Ooh, it's got, sounds, like... That sounds really good, actually. Oh, it's so good, man! It's, like, it's, it's vegan. It's vegan, I think. Um, but you can mm. put chicken and stuff like that on it, so I think I might put bacon on it. Um, oh, but it's it's it is mm. the greatest thing about it is the crust is not burnt because most times with a cauliflower crust or something like that it usually ends up causing it to be overcooked. Yeah. But um, they're actually th this place anyways. It's it's a, it's a Whole Foods store, but they found a way to cook it in a sense where it has the thick crust feel, but still tastes like cauliflower crust and doesn't have any of the ingredients in it because they found a way to like. I, I can't remember. She explained something about the way that you use the yeast to make it to make it rise, which is really tough to do, by the way, with cauliflower crust. Right. Um. I have a really good pizza, though. I can eat it without without pain. It's wonderful. Oh man, life's when I oh I still remember the first time I went to an Eastside Mario's, and this was years ago, just to try it, because I only developed food issues in the past year and a half now. And back when I tried a cauliflower crust personal pizza, it was so hard, I felt like I actually chipped a tooth when I bit into it. And it was to the point where I, I don't like wasting food. I, I have a big pet peeve with people who like throw food out. Like if it's edible or I can give it to somebody, I will. I, I had to look that, that waitress straight in the eye and I went, I'm so sorry, but this is literally impossible to eat. And I, I smashed it on the table. Like it broke like glass. It was incredibly overburned, but that's what it was. But now they've they've just been able to cook it way better. Has a lot more taste to it. You can get a lot more creative with it. Pair that with a gluten-free donut shop that's near my house? Dude. I got options when I have money. When I there have money. was a... Uh, so, I actually... There's a couple uh, pizza places around where I live that do uh, no-crust pizzas. No crust? How does that no work? No crust. Um, so basically, they do... Uh, you can either do like a Parmesan base to kind of keep the stuff together, or a spinach base at one of the places. The other one, it just kind of... Yeah, the other one, it just kind of... Um, the other one just kind of bakes it up like in a... Uh, like in a pasta bowl. You know... What? It's a... It's a... What? <laughs> it's baked up like it's in a pasta bowl. Also, hi, Dad. 
<laughs> but no. So is it is done... it a pizza or is it a pasta then? I'm confused. It's a pizza. It's a pizza. Uh, it's just it doesn't have a solidified base like the other one does. So it's like if you took a Panzerato and just sliced it in half and opened it and then liquefied it. I'm really confused. Basically. Is it like a salad bowl? Kinda, yeah. Does that still make it a pizza? Oh no, we're gonna get into this a hot dog or sandwich conversation again. <laughs> it's a soup trying... at that point, probably. We... Yeah, is that a soup? <laughs> is pizza a soup now? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> we're supposed to be bringing good conversations, not as a hot dog and open face sandwich. <laughs> But yeah, no, like, the the one that does, like, the Parmesan base and the uh, spinach base, oh. And on top of that, the place is also basically a subway for pizza. I don't like I just read the ocean is a fish soup. Oh, you know, dude, you know I, almost, I almost gagged. That got me. I don't have a gag <laughs> reflex. I think I just found one. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> For those curious, there's literally so little happening in this randomizer multi-world right now, we are starting to question pizza soup. Because what else can we do? Where's the- where's the- where's the copycat girl? Oh, she's- oh, she's here. Yeah. Okay, go this way. Oh, man. I never, I, call me respectfully, <laughs> I never want to hear that again, dude, that's, I, I, I appreciate people's opinions, and you can talk about anything and everything, you know, you're, you're a great, wonderful soul, but god, you gotta drop that, you can't, you can't go around saying that. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, what's, uh... You want me to go get your magma emblem? I already have Magma Emblem. What am I, I missing went from Celadon Hotel? What am I missing? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm gonna um, go to the hotel, I'm gonna get what you need, and then I'm gonna figure out where to go from there. I could just do Lavender- I could just do Pokemon Tower now, because I finished it. Fair. No, Thor would never do me like that, come on. What is this? Okay. Where does this go? Alright, let's start doing the Pokedex checks! Oh no, I, th I think uh, that is right. Uh, I think I remember- <laughs> I think I remember Thor saying that. Okay, so... That- oh, I need to know where that goes, hold on. Where's the skill? Oh, to a check. Ah, you guys have found what I call a hallway! <laughs> where we just go from door to door to door to door to door, and we're not a salesman, we just end up in Cycling Road. Okay. <laughs> door to door Perfect. cycling. This is good though because I only have to do this place once, unless this entrance you like um, bike, though? gives me that. Well, you don't actually need the bike to do cycling road. In fact, oh, it's faster right. to run. It's faster to run on cycling that road. That's true. Because you get slowed as a bike, but you don't get slowed when you run. And because you have the speed up, sorry, I gotta count to 24. I'm BK again, by the way. There we go. Uh, Rock Tunnel, again. Oh. Okay. Oh, so it is there. Okay, so I'm going there next anyways. Yep. This was this was like what I thought the hotel was. This was the motel, my bad. Because, you know, Celadon has a booming industry. Oh, you thought it was the hotel? No, it was the motel. Nah, no, yeah, I went to the motel. Man. My bad, man. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> I thought they served Eggs Benedict. It was Eggs Florentine. It's just a mess. <laughs> oh, Rock Tunnel. <laughs> Perfect. I found the wrong side. Excellent. Okay, well. <laughs> Amazing. What does that mean? So, is this a loop from inside Celadon to Rock Tunnel to Rock Tunnel to Celadon? Oh, goodness. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. Okay, but anyways, <laughs> here comes Rock Tunnel. Uh, this is randomized Rock Tunnel, which means that all the rooms are, like, all the trainers are in the same place, but all the walls are in different places. So, I'm gonna figure out for you right now, in the next 15 minutes, how to go through Rock Tunnel without Flash. Mainly because I don't have Flash. But, uh, there are 15 trainers and 4 items in here. The, all of the trainers that would be on the first floor and basement first floor are all there. 
but, and they'll be facing the same orientation, but the walls are going to be all over the place. So, for example, this junior trainer that I'm fighting, she's usually at the end, connected to two other trainers that are facing to the left and to the right in a hallway. That's going to be different now. The one thing I need to look for are chunks of trainers to figure out how to progress. So since I can't go this way, I have to go over here. There's the mansion king. I'm going to be going up to here. There should be a trainer staring at a wall right here. There he is. This is my favorite part of the run. Because it's funny. It's just funny. It also will take me 15 minutes, so... But nope. you're going to be getting surf out of this. You don't have balance badge, though, right? Uh, uh I do not. That's fine. Let's see what I get out of here first before we, uh... Now that gives us direction with what you can hint for, but you don't have enough hint points, right? Oh, no, I don't. Okay. I got you, man. I got you. I got you. We're gonna, we're gonna take good care of you. So there should be a guy up here, then there should be a person. Now there's this, this third hiker on the right is facing to the left. He could be blocked by a wall. This guy sometimes walks through walls, too, because... There is a weird shuffling setting when they move the walls around in Randomized Rock Tunnel, where he actually just stares at the wall, and he's supposed to not to catch you, but he's got super x-ray vision, and he walks through walls. Luckily, you can talk to him in the wall, but the first time I ever did this, I had no idea what was happening, and I actually almost quit the scene, because I'm like, I just got attacked by a random trainer off-screen, and then I was taught it's just this hiker. <laughs> who has one of the largest rosters in Rock Tunnel, and likes to attack you from inside the walls. So he's here. Now there should be a guy facing. Okay, so he's blocked off. So I'm going to have to remember to go get that hiker when I go from there. So from here, there's going to be an item right over here. There's going to be two. There's your balance badge. I'm getting all of Surf right now. Uh, yeah. There's a dude right here. Okay, you're going to have Surf. That means he's going to be going diving. Broken's going to have a lot to do after this. Yep. Everyone in chat's taking notes, right? Progression! <laughs> Progression. Where I so now finally we can say two hours and thirty minutes in, we are officially playing the Archipelago Multiworld. <laughs> <laughs> you will officially watch two Pokemon games run simultaneously. And the Devon holy cow, this place was loaded. Alright. That's a check I can go do real quick. Yep. Wait, North Item, where was your surf? On a hiker? Uh, bot basement floor one. Oh, ba oh, oh, so he's the one that was segmented off. Darn. Okay. So there's that. So now I'm going to check to see if this connects. This does, which means I need to go look for the junior trainer. Or is this cosplay? No, this isn't costume play guy. Okay. Uh, okay, so junior trainer is going to be over here. She is in a bit of a weird spot. There she is. She sometimes likes to hang out where there's no walls whatsoever. And then there's going to be a hiker looking down to her left, and then there's going to be a super nerd that guards the ladder two spaces south from it. <laughs> also an item down below and on the left. Yes, there will be a test after this stream. <laughs> At the conclusion, you will see my face pop up, and you will have to answer questions similar to what we did in Cinnabar Jump. And the answer is not C. Oh, coin case. That's huge. Oh, yeah. That's, That's eight checks. <laughs> Actually, technically, it's nine checks this time because one of them we know is your, your fly, which is useless. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can go do that after I get out of here. Now, I'm curious to see if this connects all the way down to costume play guy. Now, I'm not saying that facetiously. He does actually ask you, are you into costume play? I guess us in North America couldn't understand what cosplay is. Although I don't know if we actually use the term in 1997. I think we just call it Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> basically. All right, there's the Pokedex guy. Sorry, Pokemaniac, not Super Nerd. My bad. I'm a terrible teacher. Go away, Scott. That's not means we're definitely at the halfway mark. <laughs> oh, I guess you're not going to do the optional go away, Scott. No. I don't blame you. No. Scott's not that scared. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not going to the battlefront here. Not unless I have to. Which I shouldn't. No, Artisan Cave. No, there's another one where he's just sitting there. Okay, so we're gonna get this item here. Um, is this cut off? This might be cut oh, off. Oh yeah, the one in Mazdi. Yeah. Okay, so this is cut off. So yeah, your your surf is gonna be just a moment here. I'm gonna have to go through first floor again. All right, so there's gonna be two junior trainers looking here. This one's gonna be on this wall. The other one's gonna be on the other wall, about four steps down. And then I'm gonna get that hiker that's looking to the left. I wonder actually how close he'll be to the wall this time. Because he looks to the left, but the wall was kind of in his face. Unless I mm. missed him. This should also mean I can get the po the slowpoke guy. I haven't even done all of the long zones yet. This is a little concerning. Why did I, I don't do that? I don't even think I teach Surf to Mewtwo. It's lost so much time. Oops. But I, like, I like the Grass Dark Psychic Fire on it. Do I have... can't remember. Do I have any... Ooh, I have a lot of game now. Okay, so he should be around... Here? No? Uh-oh. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, what? What? Did you lose him? No, this is a really weird generation. I've never seen one like this before. Oh. That's... There's the obligatory man. <laughs> never That's never, this never has happened never happened before. before. Wait a minute. Okay, so costume play guy should be... There's... Nope. Who's this? Is this the hiker? Who are you? No, no, this is this is the normal guy. I guess I went fast enough to catch him. Oh. No, because I didn't miss the hiker because there's the slowpoke guy that's on the same floor, but he was blocked by a wall. I've never seen him <laughs> blocked by a wall like that before. This is <laughs> also blocked. Oh, so what it's done... It's made an additional ladder I have to find. Just kidding, this is open. <laughs> but sometimes you can build an additional ladder into randomized rock tunnel where you okay. have to take a little bit of a through way to get to the next floor which can be disorienting if you're just kind of autopiloting which I totally am <laughs> but we're about to meet costume play guy <clears throat> and you have to say it with the proper voice or it just doesn't, doesn't ring well with people go for it do you know about costume players? <laughs> costume... I didn't even realize it wasn't even... Co Wait, no! Doesn't he say costume play? What, when did they start saying costume players? Did they change that? Maybe... Oh, I wonder if that they changed fun. that because... Huh. Would they have changed that? I don't know. Whatever. Drug. He had rock smash. Well, I guess you smash, but nope, I'm not, yeah. Anyway, so, we go here. I don't have where dynamo. I can't smash. Uh, where is this guy? Okay, here's this guy. No, I missed your hiker. Shoot, man, sorry. I don't know where he is. How did I miss him? What? I haven't, I haven't missed a trainer in a very long time. <clears throat> and the worst part is, I'm gonna have to go through this place again because otherwise I have to loop through Cycling Road. Oh no, there's your right. surf. But there's I missed surf. a guy. Yep. But I still missed a guy. Uh oh. Where it? And chat, this is where everything opens up. Yeah, for this me is where randomized rocked. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I. So with Noob finding Surf for me and me finally having access, my tracker has just lit up. More than 80% of what's remaining has green. <laughs> oh. 
I will be checking for a pretty long time now. Yeah, he finally has a lot to do. I gotta find this hiker in case it is something. What am I... Are there two ladders here? Let's see. Wait. Nope, okay. Okay, so he's here, and then this guy should be right... What? No, he should be... Oh, he's around the corner, isn't he? Oh, you sneaky bugger. Got him. Thank you for the good luck. Oh yeah, it is super fun once you're able to uh, start checking again. <laughs> I'm still having fun. I, can, I, I can't lie about that. I, I appreciate that uh, we had a we had a very uh, fun Pokemon moment where we had someone standing still and someone running around in the dark. You can only <laughs> find that on a Pokemon speedrunning channel <laughs> when you have two games that seemingly have nothing happening. I'm glad I checked that. That was Oak's Parcel. Okay. Okay. So that'll be a double fight because if I if I check that, I'll save that for like a later check. Oh my goodness, I'm so lost. You know what? Well played, Rock Tunnel. You get a cookie after this run. This was a this was a good Rock Tunnel. I yeah, that's uh. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Tweets were amazing. Oh, did I miss a tweet? Well, be, be a super randomized rock tunnel next time, Kami. And yeah, this is actually a loop through rock. Wow, that's amazing. What a wild little door rando that was. <laughs> when you're when you're a super randomized rock tunnel and you stump me, Kami, you can have a cookie. Let me check all these doors, and then I'm gonna try my best to... Okay, so we have Surf. This is great. This is where we also need four badges to, to check out this door. Uh, unfortunately, if this is a location I need to go to more than once, this is a very long path to take, but, I mean, have you seen the rest of the seed? It doesn't matter! Right. It is what it is. A troll. You know what else they need to add on top of Turbo A to this speedrun? What? Disable cycling music. I really <laughs> actually dislike when you find me bicycle. Because <laughs> all, all I hear is the side pitch. Yeah. yeah. Don't do it. Okay, good. We don't need to... Okay, so two out of three checks for Pokedex are nothing. This yeah. is interesting. Wow. That's a location. Okay, so we're going to wake up. Yeah. Uh, friendly reminder to save, especially two hours, 40 minutes in. Uh-huh. Uh, once I get to tape, might as well we're good. Okay. Um... Let's see what- this wasn't a Raichu, apparently this was something else. Let's see what we're waking up. Alright, so not Raichu, what is Raichu? What is Snorlax, you mean? You heard what I said. It's a- Is it a vanilla Snorlax? It's a vanilla Snorlax. <laughs> huh. Well, the facade is off. I'm actually playing vanilla. You just don't remember that it was this wild of a game. Sorry, my bad, guys. I've been lying this whole time. Um, <laughs> I'd like to apologize to the Academy. <laughs> is, right, is this even randomized? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the odds in that are 151, right? Uh, All right, this is department store. This is good. There are a lot of checks in here, actually. If I needed a Poké Doll, this is where I can buy it. Uh, this guy handing away counter just hands out the whole black belt now. Don't even have to try. Jeez. Modern martial arts. <laughs> that go. comes for a third degree black belt. Actually, no, that's technically not modern martial arts because you have to pay for those. Acrobike. That is acrobike. So you don't need that progression anymore, right? But it's speed. It's a check for... 
Oh, Poke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Safari, right? Yeah. Isn't it also Actually, a couple on 119? Yeah, there's a couple on 119. I just remembered that as I was saying that. Everything is looping back to Celadon. This is hilarious. Alright, what's this, uh, Snorlax? Nope, it's not that one, it's this one. This takes me to I wonder if this is the Raichu. Is this a Raichu? It's a Bellsprout! Oh, oh man, you don't you remember those plants from Jumanji? <laughs> That's this bell sprout. Huge. Amazing. Fly girl with protein. Apparently the key to flying is vitamins. Okay. TM12 conversion to no thank you. I uh, don't need that. Good, okay. So that that entrance is toast. Spectacular. That saves me just having to use, like, I have to do the fight and I have to move the rocks, which is very, which are very laggy. So that's nice. Right. I don't have to go check that. Let's go rob the morning girl. She's very upset and I took her healing medicine anyways. I don't know why we do this to her, but we do. Uh, okay, so rock tunnel. Do I have plant pass yet? No. No, do I? I don't, I don't think have so. Darn. Okay. Well, I have, I actually have a quick way to it should I need to come here. Also, I have no idea who would ever figure out there's an item right here. Now 126. I'm gonna check Plant Pierre while I'm here, even though I can- Oh wait, no, I don't need, um... I don't need Planky. We know that, it goes to Pewter, we're good. So I could just check- I could just check Pierre now, and then... Get the final two checks here. Right. <clears throat> Probably go back to Celadon and then maybe do Lav and then do Pokemon Tower, maybe? Maybe? I'd say do Tower so next, yeah. Tunnel, probably. It's, it's the, well, yeah, actually, you know what? I did Rock Tunnel. So the next largest concept. Because I also have Victory Road. Rather not put a bunch of time into Victory Road. I'm also nah. level 80, so it doesn't matter. I'm just I think, very I think, I think Tower with Scope, Fuji might have something. It would have it would have less um, like logical requirements to it, right? Actually, it's a sphere one. Every every town check is a sphere one check, which is ridiculous. Right. That's uh very unlikely, but it happened. It's also the faster way of doing this route. It would have been four fights. This is only two now. Has this convinced anybody in chat to try out Archipelago? Or is it just convinced you that we are two talking heads playing Pokemon right now, <laughs> filling four hours of a schedule? Either way, we're pretty happy with that, probably. I speak for Broken now, by the way. But, uh, yeah. Ah. When are we doing deck sanity so we can do fishing checks in a marathon? Goodness. I mean, theoretically, <laughs> I was already doing the fishing checks. No, but I'm talking While like... I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy enough considering a shit ninja task. Yeah, I mean, fair. We, we do incite some fun chaos. We're glad we're glad of that. Can I put that on our resume? <laughs> Very- we could just say it's persuasive. We don't have to put the whole inciting chaos thing, we just say persuasion. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Here's the final item. There's nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go do Lavender Tower. It's the fastest way to it. Literally just I'm on... To it, I'm on Mazdi. Uh, he's just a Sunstone because it's not gift items. Alright. You've received awakenings from both of the... From both of the guys now. Hilarious. There's only one other fishing guy left. 
You know, fishing does knock people out. I wouldn't be surprised that they have to give out those awakenings. <laughs> Great, but it's re it's re it's especially good if you haven't been sleeping for a while. Right. <laughs> Rival's gonna have two Porygons in the champion fight. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my, my rival's Whoops. team is gonna be two Porygons, a Tauros, a Hitmonlee. I don't even remember what you started with, and something else. Which we will find out if we do Oak's Parcel check. My only right. concern from those, uh, Tauros, oh, it'll have Scyther. Um... The only concerns will be that Hitman Lee had rap, and I don't know if he'll still have rap in that final fight. That could, like, keep a run here for ages. Because, again, ma unlimited power points and uh, perma trapping with rap strats. Alright, taking laser time. Good, have fun. Yeah, I saved right before it, so we're fine. Oh, I love seeing level 41 prevos. Fate and Lies are notorious in, in Emerald, at least from my experience, for being trolls for one check. <laughs> yeah, literally. They are, they are... It's a tough fight in vanilla, for the love of God. Like, it's... In Rando, if you don't have a good run going, or you have to fight them early, it's not. It's not pleasant. When two psychic children hand you the L... So far, so good. Everything's been... Uh, <laughs> everything. Everything on their team can be in Little Cup. Alright. Good. You also have a Mewtwo. Well, it was Talo, Probo, uh, Probo Pass, Squirtle, no and Nidoran... Or, Nose Pass, yeah. Uh, and Nidoran Female. <laughs> I'm glad you got the better end of this rando. Right. All that for one check. <laughs> yep. And it was a potion. Nice. Wonderful. Yep. Time to go because I need to do this, apparently. Clear out the space center. <clears throat> Ooh, Venusaur. The Magma Grunts are more powerful than... Alright. Sure. I am very glad that I have not come across a... Uh... I have not come across a... Slacking yet. Slacking is terrifying in these types of randos because it doesn't have its truant ability. Actually, now that you mentioned it, I don't think I've come across a Chansey, and I've had only nothing but special attackers. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I've come across a Chansey already. It was Dan's yeah. ace. It we was know. the slacking. <laughs> we, we know, and, and I'm, I'm still slightly disappointed dad, and Superpower Mewtwo struggling, but you know, I get it. Pokemon is Pokemon. To be fair, it was the ace, and I was at minus two, minus two. And, and around the same level. <laughs> Bro, you put... You put, <laughs> like... I, I don't even know where to begin with that, because it just kind of <laughs> feels like you take a 40-year-old veteran boxer, you put him in the ring with a caterpillar, and, like, you, you can say the caterpillar was on fire, <laughs> it, you should still be winning that, 10 out of 10, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I did win it. I, I, you know, you're right. You did. <laughs> but it was close to the point that you, expected. You, you, you were making the odds try and work better. I don't know, man. That's not how that works. Uh, this late, that. Nah, it's the well, it's a chance, right? Yeah. No. Which Mystic. one is it? Mystic Timber? All right. Okay. Uh, Mystic Tick is a check. Mystic Tick is also the level 70s. <laughs> so. But at this point, Mewtwo's upper 50, or mid 50s, so. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, no, upper 50s, yeah. 
Oh no, I'm gonna find all of your boat <laughs> items. <laughs> there it comes. All this is actually just tickets. a lighthouse now. <laughs> Imagine selling your cemetery to make it into a lighthouse. Wait, that's real. <laughs> Kakuna metering mail, okay. Was anyone actually scared of Lavender Town when they were a kid playing this? I was. I, I say that from experience. I was actually terrified of Lavender Town. Like, all the all the people talking about, like, ghosts and stuff, this place was creepy to me. I was six. I like Lavender Town. Oh, that's a lot of ghosts. Alright, that's gonna be a little harder to deal with. I do have Crunch on here, though. Well... Would help if I actually crunched the Latios and not the Cubone. Oh well. You, you should bite the giant dragon thingy. Yeah, I should. I didn't, though. Now I did. <laughs> there we go. So there's two things that this does when I when I uh, there's two things that this will do. I'm tired because I've done so much. Um, <laughs> there are two things that will happen when I beat Pokemon Tower. One, I have to go find Fuji's house, because guess what? With Doran, he's like, nya nya, you have to actually come find me. And we play a little bit of Where's Fuji. Once we find Where's Fuji, we actually unlock Silphco, so Silphco enjoyers, you get the door checked to Silphco. It's just Silphco all the way down. That's why I don't like Silphco. But we'll have a door open from that. Because we cleared out Silphco, which I never marked on the tracker, oops, um... We have three extra doors open, so that means all of Saffron will be opened up. That was Which light could ball. matter. That's another light ball. What the heck, man? Yep. Yeah. There aren't that many Pikachus in the world. I've not seen a single Pikachu yet. <laughs> or a Raichu. Or a Pichu. So. I would believe that, that Cubone's mother is Jinx. <laughs> you got the Jinx. Alright. It doesn't make the cry, though, because it's the ghost. Oh, fair, fair. The only time Jinx is okay to encounter. <laughs> the only <laughs> no, the other the other time that Jinx is okay is in modern games or in no no stadium. It's still terrible. Yeah. Never mind. Actually, I feel like it might be even longer because of the amount of time it took for a Pokemon to come out. Uh, probably. No, the, no, the transition happened as it cries. No matter what, it sucks. Have for dinner tonight, bro. Right on top of it. Uh, I'm probably gonna have pasta. Same. But, Already got uh, my dad making the, the tomato sauce upstairs. Some green beans in it. It's gonna be uh, Cincinnati style chili. What's a Cincinnati style chili? Um. So it's beanless chili. And one of the ingredients is actually cocoa powder, believe it or not. Interesting. Wait, why do you have to specify it's beanless? Is chili... can chili not be beanless? Uh, so, in the U.S., nine times out of ten, chili is gonna have beans. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't make the rules, because I don't necessarily care for beans. Is it the same thing as if I ask for an iced tea, you literally give me, like, orange pico and you throw ice cubes in it? That I still guess, disappoints man. me, by the way. Thanks, Applebee's. <laughs> I go on vacation, ask for an iced tea, and they're like, yeah, sure, would you like Earl Grey? I'm like, what do you, what? Don't out myself as being from another country, but what? <laughs> I forgot they did that, honestly. Yeah. That was my culture shock, I guess. Well, to be fair, there's not that many Applebee's around anymore. All the ones around us closed. Oh no. You put them yeah. out of business, well done. Is it all Cheesecake Factory now? No. Oh. There's only one Cheesecake Factory around us. Really? 
Yeah. I thought you guys had nothing. I thought I thought like oh no 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 factory there. was the Starbucks of you guys. It, it's mediocre food with it's terrible food with mediocre cheesecake. Look, I've eaten at there least, once. At least the ones we've had. I've I've gone there once. It was in Boston, I think. I got like seven raviolis in this plate that's bigger than my entire like face, and then um, I ate it. Was disappointed. Paid nineteen bucks. Never went to America again. <laughs> All those are linked somehow. Um, by the way, Pokedex is nothing. Amazing. Which is amazing, actually. Like, really amazing. Because I haven't been tracking where these guys are. I can, but, like... They're in slightly awkward positions. Alright, Ledge Linda, what do you got for me today? N nothing! She continues to be a disappointment amongst her peers. Oh, boy. Feel free to point and laugh. I don't usually encourage that, but Ledge Linda deserves it. Have you had a chance to get to Doc Danny yet? I'm going right now, actually. I forgot to... I, I I went down a rabbit hole, but I ended up on the <laughs> other side of the rabbit hole, so it's all worked out in the end. Because it's all leading back to Celadon City! So who cares? <laughs> Alright, yes, the submarine's here, so I can do this. Perfect. Are you going for go goggles? Uh, I can't. I don't have Rock Smash. <laughs> oh, that's right. I just I figured I'm. You need the other two. I just, I was just like, oh, I'm here. I may as well do it since I know that there's something on it. I never realized Gen three and Gen four were that restrictive for HMs. Like, even if you just think about it objectively, right? Like, I used to always complain that Gen four forced so many on you, but also like Gen three was pretty. Like, like look at look at Victory Road or Evergrande. That's. <laughs> Right. Five HMs, something like that in there? Ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna just go and... Uh... Oh, hey, look! Mirage Island! Nice. Your free lychee berry. Too bad I don't have a physical attacker. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be visiting the fourth overworld check here. Oh, he's over here. This is Doc Danny. He's behind Cut and potentially Surf or Strength. He is the hardest one to get to, which usually, I think that's why he usually, like, this particular fisherman has a check, because he has multiple requirements to him. Just on average rules, and him having more. Well, those were two underwhelming TMs. We're at three hours, and I have four badges. This is not good. Well, I'm doing, I am doing Surf Puzzle. Oh, okay, yeah. Doc Danny, come on. One of my least moment. favorite checks, but it's a high concentration nice. of checks. Is it two visits or three? I forget. Can you do it in three. two? It's uh, you cannot time. do it in two. Yep. Right. It's three minimum regardless. Okay, so one, two, three. At least on the bright side, I no longer have to utilize the tracker to know which way to go. I can't believe this brought me back to Celadon City. <laughs> you know, this, you know how the song goes: "Take me back all to road. Celadon City." <laughs> all, all roads lead to Celadon. I'm on the way to Celadon City. <laughs> Is that when they're talking about the old road? Is that was this the place? <laughs> We got cobblestone, I believe it. <laughs> Alright, what's old man peeping at today? Oh, an underground. Oh no, it's the country road that takes you home. That one, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna remember this, I got this broken, I got this. One, two. Dang it. Two. Did, did, did you have that? No, I still haven't gotten this right. Ah, oh, rip. I'll, I'll do it the simpler Are one. you in the I underground? Yeah, I just... <sighs> I tried- I know how to count it from stairs. Mm. But trying to count it from the other item. Yeah. I thought I had it, but I guess it was a little bit off. It's also weird because sometimes, you may have seen it, you wouldn't know unless I pointed out in Cycling World, but sometimes certain items just don't want to be clicked <laughs> from certain mm. directions, and I'm not sure why it does that. Um, so. 
It's just Jim over here. I've had four times for a while. Genuine, I'm going to be genuinely shocked if I don't find any progression on this island. Or on these uh, surf puzzles. So this door... Oh, I screwed it up. This door. Nice. I didn't go down far enough. Well... Uh-oh. Make that four trips. <laughs> That's fine. We got time. Hey, I'm in Cinnabar. Hey. That was a secret key, too. All right. Instead of tea, they're handing out soda pop now. Very cool, very cool. The lab sold the big, uh, big pharma. Perfect. The mansion is now Mount Moon. Myself, that, right? What is happening? Yeah. So I'm down to like the final 15 doors, which oh. is reassuring, um, yeah. actually, because any door that I check now will just, it, it should lead to something, right? We already have Victory Road. We already have, like, like Vict oh, Victory Road is probably going to be where I'm going to be going next. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, this is nothing. Excellent. Indigo Plateau is considered a Pokemon Center, and since Pokemon Center is only shuffled amongst themselves, we already found Indigo Plateau. So you don't need to worry about that. This is going to be the one seed that proves me wrong. Let's go talk to Slash Lady. Uh, it did not have anything. Nothing on those routes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're going to dig deep here. This is this is definitely a dig deep. Um, this is a dive deep. Come on. You're right. Dive deep. Okay. I'm going to... I see do not have... I can... Yeah, go ahead. I do not have room one key, but I have every other key for abandoned ship, so that's where I'm going. Before you leave, I'm going to quickly do this. I'm going to get the three doors here. Uh, see if I can... I can get a couple of really quick checks while you're underway there. Okay. Uh, well, I'm already at abandoned ship, but go on. Okay. Don't, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't leave until I do these checks then, I guess. Otherwise, everything else is going to take me a little bit longer, but I'll try my best to mm. get through it. It's amazing how this run can go from talking about sandwiches to suddenly worrying about logical progressions. Like we're actually playing a video game for a marathon that people are watching. <laughs> well, why did I pop oh, whatever? Three hours in, you're allowed to start making mistakes. <laughs> oh, that's the, that's, close, very, close. That's very <laughs> ironic that I find the scanner, but not the room key. That is. Well, that's irony at its finest. That's beautiful. That's hilarious. Randomizers have jokes. Who knew? Would be even funnier is if I actually find the room key in here. That's happened before, right? It has, yeah. Yeah. Which is an ultimate trap, by the way. Because mm. oh, it will yeah. make you have to go for it. The game knows you have to go for it. Alright, it was... unless one has something, it was dead for the dives checks. You did room one, did you? No, I don't have room one key. Oh, it shows... oh, you found room one key, okay. One sec, one sec, no. I don't know what this is. This is a shop? That's a terrible place for a shop, man. Um, let me just do a really quick sweep of these three doors down here. Yep. I'm still doing checks, though. Okay, okay. Because I haven't touched abandoned ship yet. Because I couldn't. There's bike voucher. Okay, I can go do. Th uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that at the uh, when I'm doing single checks. Yeah, that's fine. Uh... Uh... Oh yeah, here's all the singles. Call me Swiss cheese. I'm finding all the singles. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, perfect! Okay, good. Sabrina's gym. Oh, nice. You know what's uh, very strange? Uh, I'm not gonna wait around in here. I'm gonna keep surfing because I yeah. still need to do all the checks for surf. Yeah, I've got I've got eight items. I can get you in the next four or five minutes. So Yeah. 
I still haven't found Misty's gym. Usually she's the meme gym where we see that she sells her stuff off for whatever, but she's actually kind of hidden right now. Mm. She's going to be in Bill's house, isn't she? Probably. She's going to be in Bill's house. Sending you max repels. I would like to hold on to some of those for myself. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I've gone through the majority of my places with with encounters, but really, what's left is Victory Road. So I don't uh, need those anymore. Right. So, fun fact: in Sabrina's gym, if you didn't notice about Gen One, you can just go in a counterclockwise position, or just like counterclockwise nonstop, and you'll eventually get to Sabrina. Hey, there's a badge. Holy cow, that's been, it literally has been like two hours, right? Yeah, since your last one, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's... Wow. That's what, number five now? That's five, yeah. So one more and I can check Viridian Jim's door. Right. Uh, I have a feeling it's not going to be incredibly important, but we'll see. Hey, Eon ticket. Hello, Raiders! Hello, T-Pat and friends. What's going on? Welcome to the exciting part of the archipelago, Raiders. <laughs> Every raid has had a different part of the energy. Yeah. You're coming in at the good time, yeah! Oh yeah, when all the checks are running wild, like... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> when we're time to hundo the seed. <laughs> we love 100%. Oh, we BK'd oh, I, many, I, many uh, times. I, uh... I was BK'd for about 45 minutes. It's been, a, it's been a rough one of weird carries and lots of T Fear 1 stuff. Hi, Sabrina. Yep. I'm currently running with a color change Mewtwo. Which uh, ironically makes sense. <laughs> Wait, how many times? How much time you lost to color change? Not that much, actually. Wait, how does it was color mainly, change? It was mainly early on that I kept getting the type things, but then again, it's like they're hitting me with normal moves half the time. That still makes you color change, though, because you're a psychic type. Yeah. So are you telling me you have an RGB Mewtwo? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's all. That's good. No. Yeah. RGB Mewtwo. RGB LED. <laughs> OMG Barbecue. Officially have a Mudkip in the Shed Engine task. Amazing. Perfect. <laughs> We've in, in the th okay. So let's talk about what we. Let's talk. I, I currently am playing Super Mario 64. Let's <laughs> talk about what we've achieved in this three hours of multi-world archipelago. We've bashed Gen 4, uh, we've bashed <laughs> Digimon, we've talked about our favorite pizzas and sandwiches, we've eventually found some items for Broken to play the video game, um, right. we have encouraged a Shedinja only yeah. task. Folder badge, that's six. That's six. Oh, here's okay, Mystic right. Ticket. Here's Mystic okay. Oh, you were never getting that. Okay, you could have gotten that really two hours ago, but the point is, who cares? Um, what else have we accomplished in three hours? Uh, we've, we've gotten multiple raids. Um, we, we, my cat almost tried to take my leg away from me. Yep. Uh, we we got a task started somehow. Yeah, we got the task again. Still, we have still the task going. Uh, we found out that apparently the Helix versus Dome conversation does in fact include our uh, Aerodactyl. It's been it's been a very eventful AP. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Milo's a... Oh, why did... Whatever. He does Just cost. wasting money. This 21-pound orange catness cannot be held away by anything but instinct. And if I get two good level 70s here, then I do not have to worry about <laughs> backups at all. Right, let's... I could do Cerulean Cave. I completely forgot I have that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've got okay. the cave. I'm going to go do that next. I'm going to do that next. Uh, 
I don't know if you're, no, you're still not a bandit ship. That doesn't matter. Okay, where was Cerulean Cave? Oh boy, where's Cerulean Cave? Dugtree is not terrible. It has Intimidate, that is terrible. <laughs> Tricky Road is there. I found Cerulean Cave, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, Route 2 Pewter, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I, I, there's one thing I want to uh, be known for. Okay, there are many one, things so. I want to be yeah. known for. One of them is not my special Doug Trio Nuzlocke victory. Uh, Dragon Scale <laughs> was the Sacred Ash. Okay. It's At not chat. the Peck Mega Drain Magneton either. That was awful. Count them with me. Two, three, uh -huh. four, seven, five, four, two, blue, six. At least nine. Seven. Eight. What are we counting? Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve floors down. Oh, the ladders. I'm like, what are we counting? <laughs> Twelve floors to get to a level 70 jump bluff. Why do you think they did it that way? What was the what was the intended was that supposed to be suspense? Like, they Probably. just took 12 maps and overlaid them? Because because the other thing is that to get to Ho-Oh, it's only five floors. It's got to be, it's gotta be some, like, GBA map jank. It's got to be. Something like that. Jeez. I think I also edited that special Dunk Trio video. Yes, you did. Uh, that was interesting. Yeah, it was a bolt beam one, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bolt dur, because it was thunder, not thunderbolt. Oh, I guess it would be thun, thun beam? That doesn't sound right. Uh, Eister? I guess? I'm gonna check the Mewtwo for fun. We have time. Yeah. Any guesses on the Mewtwo? Any guesses on the Mewtwo? We can't pivot anymore because we're a level 85 slow, bro, unless this thing is spectacular. I don't even Chancy. have a Master Ball. Chansey. You know it's like a Chansey, but much smaller. <laughs> Flipberry. Nope. Jigglypuff. Ah. Yeah. That was good, Nick. Alright, uh, what do I do next? You know what? Screw it, let's just go this way. Alright, let's go do. Oh, you wanted to, you fire. wanted to know where the lab was, right? Lab? It was vanilla. It was vanilla lab. That's amazing. I do live in my rival's house, though. <laughs> hey, if you were playing, uh, if you were playing this gen, you'd be living in that house anyways. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, cause male, yeah, male lives on the, on the right. No, female lives on the right. The left. Does it? What? Female lives on right, male lives on left. You are correct, yes. Not about backwards, my bad. Okay. I would hope I got that right, considering I started this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like... <laughs> so... Maybe I maybe I played a maybe I played an entire Emerald ROM hack where the whole idea was just to switch the doors, and that's the only change. Everything else is vanilla. I, I want to do do Emerald Door Rando so bad, but at the same time, too. Oh I my god, I don't want to do I, Emerald I, Door I, Rando. You, you need to have your favorite plushie with you when you do that. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Silcoon and Cascoon overwatch everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I don't actually know where Fuji is. I... 
I think I'm gonna do Victory Road. Yeah, I can't, at this I point, can't think I of think. what else it is. I, I don't know what else I can do. I'm gonna check. Yeah, at this point, I think Victory Road is the call. It, I I actually can't see anything else I need to do. Oh, I didn't check Seafoam's Islands. That's okay. It, the most that it could be at this point would be, um, like Misty's Gym, and it's absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. So. So the way, by the way, if you're looking at the time and you're wondering, are they going to get it done in time? Uh, we have a contingency plan for this. In case the run was this atrocious with the logic, uh, because we have hit points on, what we'll do is we'll kind of gauge to see how much we need to finish the run, and then we'll hint accordingly, and we will finish on time. Yep. We have, we have built our settings and our race plans to not only fit in conversations about sandwiches, but to also ensure that we keep the marathon running smoothly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did the thing! Oh! What Anyways, happened? I left. Oh. I rage quit. Victory Road. <laughs> Not on purpose, but I did it. Amazing. Proud of you. This is this is as good as my map design. <laughs> Ugh. Well, on the bright side, I'm only two badges away. Oh, I guess oh, yeah. and waterfall. I don't have waterfall. <laughs> That's something you don't say every day you're missing. Wow, I've yeah right. Uh, I've gotten you both old amber and dome fossil. <laughs> There's your dynamo badge. There's dynamo. So that's road. rock smash. Yep. Okay, so broken is one badge away. Chances are, uh, if we're at, if we're riding 320, we should probably like we should say if we find all your badges, you go win. Yeah. And then we'll just go for the final searches for my badges. What what uh, progressive items are you missing other than waterfall? Waterfall. That's it? Yeah, Go, uh, go Goggles is in my world. Right. Uh, Devon Scope, but I think... Did I hit Devon Scope? I think that's in my world as well. Okay. Yeah, Meteor Falls, so I should probably go do that. Uh, what was I... I lost my train of thought already. Ah! Meteor Falls? No, it's not that. Although I can just fly away from here. It's... Oh, no, 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 I'm finishing up the... Right, right, right. I'm gonna finish up this route. Been to the... Because uh, I can do everything. It's all gonna be able to be done in one trip. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Probably gonna spend some time looking through the TMs and my items just to get myself organized for the late game too. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. AKA the great sweep of Gen 1 and 3. Broken's game and my game will look very different in Elite Four. Can you guess why? I'll give you about 55 numbers worth of- or 35 numbers worth of reasons. <laughs> uh, because that's where all the protect spam goes in my games. Oh, no, I was talking about our levels. Oh, no, that too. <laughs> I was merely suggesting I'm going to be carrying with a level 100 and you have to actually play Pokemon. <laughs> but this is Jet... Oh, my goodness. I'm two for two on Boulder Fumbles. Never done that. That's Ooh, a new no, one, too. No, no, no. I'm you too. What am I doing? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the tree cut down its own kind. You're going to make Sinawoto destroy a Trico? Sure. Doesn't seem I, like it'd I, be that I, hard. I know it's been a long run, man, but I don't think Trico deserves that. <laughs> also, that's that that has like a layer of joke to it, if anybody actually understood that, because they, they're both sound like they are trees, but they're not. Like, that was, that was a whole <laughs> thing that I just ruined now. Perfect. Yep. Good job. Thank you. 10 out of 10 would ruin again. You live? I love Gen 1. There you go. There's an example of something 42 levels lower living a really powerful attack. BBs, baby. Ah, There's basement, basement key. key. Okay. That's four checks? Five. There's five, five. items there. Oh, yeah. <coughs>
Oh, right. I'm like, what in the world? I I have a bad habit of looking at my tracker wondering what's going on before I actually do all the checks. There we weirdly go. En weirdly enough, um, ha ha ha, that's horrible. Uh, weirdly enough, doing entrance rando has made me look further and further away from my tracker because the <laughs> number, like the, the lights will randomly just change. Oh, oh, I get to do the thing. What's I get that? to show this off. What, show what off? The special script because of the uh, randomizer. Oh, you get to do backwards uh, 118. I get to do backwards <laughs> Steven, yeah. Yeah, backwards Steven. How do you say Steven backwards? I found Waterfall, by the way. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Script says you're supposed to enter from the south. <laughs> so you jump the ledge, <laughs> then he follows. <laughs> yep. Uh, I love that. <laughs> Randomizer people do like to have fun. They all had awakenings. That is ridiculous. What? <laughs> what a blessed day. That is one for the books. That's incredible. <laughs> I think chat has witnessed true gaming today. Right. This this feels like true gaming has been achieved on this channel right now for this particular run. And there's much more gaming to come. Next up is Pokemon Aquamarine. Yeah. Which I've never heard. Fun. I watched some gameplay of that a little bit oh, yeah. earlier. It looks it looks a lot of fun. That's cool. I actually I'm kind of convinced to try uh, Pokemon Infinity. Right. That, that looks like a very clean game. Oh. Yeah. Although I fell asleep, I f it was so late at night for I wanted to watch the Baton Pass run. I was really looking forward oh, to watching yeah. that. I didn't get to watch that either. I gotta go. Back I gotta and watch. I get, yep, go back and watch it on the vo on the vods when it's uploaded to YouTube. Go back. I did catch the back half of Etiquette's uh, Detective Pikachu run, and that looked like fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes! Alright, we're good. Bolt beam achieved. Now all I need is high jump kick and we have the perfect moveset. Close enough! Amazing. <laughs> Alright, I'll probably go do... Basement real quick. And then I'll go get the stuff I need to get from Meteor Falls. Actually, I, realize I, something. I don't even think I need that. Broken. Yeah. Are there PP maxes in Gen 1? That's a good question. I don't recall ever seeing any in Gen 1. I don't remember getting one. I just, I, is that uh, a Gen 2 thing? That's a Gen 2 thing? Really? Yeah, Gen 2. Wow, yeah, look at that. Weird. Also, uh, Cascoon. Uh, you want to talk about Pokemon I praise? Praise Cascoon. That's a whole story behind it. Too long Go for the remainder of this run. <laughs> and it all originated from uh freaking Smogon. It old Smogon. Yep. Okay, so you need you just need a badge from me, right? Correct! Okay. Oh god. Alright. There's that one item in in Safari Zone behind Surf that I can go get. Uh, did I? Whatever. No, I beat Koga. Yes. Beat Koga. What else do I got? You know, sometimes I hear the biking music in my sleep. <laughs> So you did Koga. You still have to find Misty's gem. I haven't found Misty. That's only three checks, though. I'm not. That's true. Overly excited. I mean, I'm I'm, ex I'm excited for one check, but not for three. I don't know. It's just I, I feel like <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if her gym was locked behind Fuji, unlocking Silphco, and then the Silphco lovers in chat <laughs> just rejoice. 
right? We, we gotta hope to do that. Like I got, I got, I gotta open up Silphco for the Silphco fans, <laughs> which I didn't know existed until today. So that's cool. There's your flash. Oh boy. <laughs> it's about as useful as a potion. I mean, it would have helped in this tunnel that you had. No, it was way more fun doing that layout uh, <laughs> without Flash. Fair, fair. I'm not going to um, go to a marathon and, and take the one randomized chaotic thing and be like, yeah, I've got the answer to it. That's not fun. <laughs> Let's see here. We're at 328, so you need one badge, I need two. So, probably at the... How many checks you got left? Uh... Yeah, never mind, you're done. Go, 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 yep. run. <laughs> run, go finish the game. Be free, my man. You can do it. <laughs> I still have to... I still have to get the, uh, fly point. Because <laughs> I didn't have waterfall. <laughs> so, broken's in go mode. Yep. Which means I'm literally done, right? Like, I, I get to sit here for 30 minutes doing nothing? Yep. Sweet. Yep, because then <laughs> I'll uh, be able to release. Wait, are you going to release? Uh, I mean... I don't have to. I... <clears throat> Actually, I, I never have to do this puzzle properly ever again. Officially beaten rival one in the task. Amazing. Okay, so what's gonna happen first? The Shedinja beats the first or beats the second gym or broken finishes Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> this is the new race. Now we you know how every multi-world co-op run becomes a race at the end, right? <laughs> we now have Shedinja only speedrun versus Pokemon Emerald AP. Gotta fight Wally. <laughs> the only required fight. <coughs> I may as well do the checks while I'm in here. Another escape rope to you. I've been very helpful in that regard, where I just keep sending you escape ropes and repels. Unfortunately, I have a dig Pokemon. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I didn't at one point, so we're good. You're helping past me. Right. Oh, man. I to... oh, man. Yeah. Something about psychic types in this game. Oh, there's the first Chansey. Oh, there you go. Why do I have Rock Slide? I should have just kept... Uh... Strength. It would have been better. Well, so far I've not had any issues with any of Wally's Mons. That's good. I think we should uh, see how long Elite Four takes you, and then we'll figure out whether or not you need to release from there. Fair. Because we can we can take this all the way to four. We we already know that the Elite Four for me will take about six and a half minutes. Right. Because there are five trainers that I have to click buttons on, but it will not take me anything. So we we can get you clearing as much as possible, and it'll it'll be my turn to sit there and do nothing. Yep. <laughs> it's only fair. It's teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, rest of my thumbs. This one hurt. It's a long run. Right. going the right way. I'm trying a new challenge. I'm looking at the restream, and I'm seeing if I can play using only audio cues. <laughs> so I actually have no visual indicator. I just have to listen and click the correct button that will one-shot everything. Amazing. I gotta go north to get the item behind the rock smash strength boulders. Yep. Yep. 
Yep, and then I go surf across here. Just trying to remember how to do this in the dark. Yeah, you're good. We got time. Uh, yeah. Tons of time. Where does this bring you to? No way. Cool. There's plant key. Doesn't matter, but I appreciate it. I know. <laughs> oh, wait, Silphco is open. Oh, I don't need to find Fuji to open Silphco? Perfect. Silphco enjoyers, here we go. What is it? It's a shop. I'm sorry you've been bought out. Okay, so. Um. <laughs> Where else? What else can I do to keep people company while I wait for you to finish my run? Um. Uh, you can go uh, open up the plant door. Oh no 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 no! You know what? I've already done that. You know what I can do? Well, let's go to Bill's house. Let's go see if. Oh, if there you go. To Bill's yeah. place. Do you see Misty and Bill being a uh, a couple? Uh, eh. Nah. Actually, I don't know. Well, oh. no, 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 like how old? Is Bill? I would Bill's, say at what's least. What's Bill's role? I would say at least mid twenties. Yeah. At like he least. is supposed to be. I don't know. Like his his picture is so strange in the older cards. He looks like me when I was in high school. <laughs> Minus the I didn't have I did he has red hair right. Uh. Brunette or red, yeah, you know, something like that. Something like that. He's like, he's like Flint. Actually, I just realized his build just Flint. <laughs> but like with baggy shorts. Flint cool. Remember to how Reggie Rock and that one gym a uh, Gen 8 gym leader are basically the same. <laughs> Reggie Rock and um, Milo. What's his name? Milo, right. No, it's not Milo. Come on. <laughs> it's not Milo. It's Milo. It's spelt like Milo. Yeah, it's spelt like Milo, but you also gotta remember this is, is where it it's located. You're not- wait, you're not kidding? It's actually Milo? I think it is, yeah. I refuse. Look, I've- look, I- I, I refuse to say Zaytu, and I refuse to say Milo. I can't call- I can't call him Milo. <laughs> That's just... If I meet- if I meet Milo in real life, and he says, please call me Milo, I'll be respectful and call him Milo, but since he's a video game character, he's Milo forever. <laughs> All right, I have made it to Northern Evergrande. Okay. I should be okay with not having to use X items. It's a level sixty me too. Uh, you should be good for at least the first three fights. Yeah. And after that, uh, things maybe arrange. Shouldn't need X speeds, but just get them in case. Alright. Uh, safety save. Right. I did heal up, okay, we're good. One day that'll be an item. And I collected all the Lepa Berries along the way, so we're good. That should be good regardless. Uh, needle Arm good on a Mudkip. Great I don't think that's—I don't think that's gonna work in the TAS. in Bill's house today? Nobody. Okay. Oh. All right. Interesting. Uh, I'll go check Seafoam Islands. I mean, to be fair, her gym is Seafoam Islands. So Basically. maybe they just, yeah. maybe she just froze her old gym over and started anew. You know, pulling a Blaine. Except yeah. there's no volcano, just straight disappointment her being a below average gym leader or something. Yeah. I'm so mean to Misty. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know. She did. She. She's done nothing wrong, but existed as a video game character. All right, Phoebe. Okay, she's not in sea foam. Running tubes obtain. 
Okay. Fair enough. Oh, you know what? You know what? I didn't check. I didn't check for danger. Oh, oh, yeah, true. Nothing. Wow. All right. Oh well. Yeah, that's like it's fine. I meant to do need alarm for quad week, but whatever. I don't know if uh, anyone on tech wants to. Do I I know you were having some issues with Broken's audio, but like I'm gonna be sitting here. <laughs> until Broken's done the Elite Four, so he'll have more of the dynamic sounds. Um, and then after that, like, my game will be the main one playing after he finds my badges. Oh, and then they can actually hear one of the best, uh, one of the best features of the Archipelago, which is yeah, the, has... uh, sound randomizer. Yeah, I have the entrance rando, he has the audio rando. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I would if if you if you can. I I don't know. I like I don't want to cause any trouble with it, but like he is going to be the more active one uh, for the time being. What doors have I missed? Yeah, you haven't done sea foam. I did, I know I did both sea foams. Oh, wow, yeah. You found Gosh. it and then that was it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you told me not to go for shiny. So I, I told you not to go for shiny and you didn't, you know. <laughs> I'm proud of you for that. <laughs> but I've, I've neglected Misty and now she's like on my hate list. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Misty's gym right here. Just kidding. Now, Misty's gym is going to be the uh, back entrance to museum. Should, should be behind the uh, the cut bush, yeah. Absolutely. Nothing, nothing. All right, time to go off against Drake. Oh, twi okay. I, you, uh, you are uh, absolutely correct. <laughs> it's behind the cut bush. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> he actually read the script before this run. But mobile Twitch right now is absolutely terrible, Randall. I I cannot believe. I'm I'm trying to be nice. I try to be a nice person, except to Misty apparently. But like, I I truly do not understand how they thought this was a good state to put it out in. I'm not watching TikTok. I'm watching Twitch. Like like no, that's the problem. Is they didn't let him cook. They let him order, and then the dude dropped it on the way to the door. Like, that's what happened here. There is no cooking involved. This was, this was like, this is raw. It's, it's so bad. I can't even, like, I'm trying to watch, I was literally trying to watch Pokemon Speedruns TV earlier, right? And I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna pay attention. Every time I'd put it down, it would try to swipe, and then I'd try to switch channels, and it would just close your stream. And I'm like, what is happening? It's so bad. Oh, I'm so bad, Ray. I'm so sad, Ray Ranger. <laughs> Should have done that. Oh yeah, no, it, it is. It is god awful. It's, it, yeah, it's it's really, really. Why? There's people on my following list who I don't follow. How is that a How is that a feature? Do I have an elixir? Actually. Would be a better one to use. Oh, I found Fuji. What's up, man? Oh yeah, Max Elixir, there we go. Alright. Wait, broken stick quiet. Huh? Stick quiet for a second? Yeah. Okay. okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. Alright, how many protect stalls do you think we'll have in this one? 
At least seven. Hate At to least say seven? It. Feeling like a seven today. Alright, on that note, how many of them will be double protects? Two. Two? But I hate it to receive badges. They're all considered a key item, so I usually take this time if I'm waiting for someone else to finish to just sort of make sure that I can pick up all the items that they might find while I'm waiting. We're just, we don't need any X items, nothing like that. Jen, Jen you're looking at Broken stream, and Broken is, is displaying excellent skill with slightly above average levels and a good main. I am going to click buttons and everything is probably going to drop unless... <laughs> Gen 1 does Gen 1 things. <laughs> because it could definitely do Gen 1 things, and it's disgusting how things 40, 50 levels below will still survive. But that's how Gen 1 works. Just, just what it is. Oh, that's a Snorlax. Oh, spin-up drop. Okay. <laughs> I am now a water type. Solved it. Beautiful. Woo! Thank you for making that change. Appreciate it. Oh, crit, yeah. Here we go. I needed that crit to get that Snorlax off the screen. Alright. Alright. You're currently on Glacia? Uh, no. Wallace. Wait, that is Wallace? a flat spot. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, never mind. Okay, so that means once Broken finishes, he's gonna jump back in. Oh, gee. Oh no, I think it's auto release. Did Why we not? Why is it auto release? What happened? Oh. I don't know. It auto released. Alright. Welcome to being 45 minutes ahead of schedule. <laughs> do, do, do you want to do a thing where, like, you go visit where they were? You want to go to Route yeah, 115 I can do that. and I Route can do 119? That. It was actually above One a waterfall? Oh. 115, 119. Well, it makes it was... sense with Waterfall being the last thing I got. Item pack. Yeah, once once you go to those two places, I'll do it. Okay. No, we're gonna so... let Broken. We're gonna we're extend this. Don't worry. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna play the run <laughs> as it was supposed to be. Broken can explain. So, what was supposed to happen <laughs> was I beat the game and we have manual release on so that it so that I would load back into the game and then g continue the hunt. Uh, so I have completed. I'm gonna go visit those those two locations that Noob's uh, badges were in and <laughs> collect them myself. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do this the proper way. <laughs> we, wanted, we wanted to extend it a tiny bit more, but all the items released, that's okay. Um, He's gonna so finish it, then I'm gonna finish it. It'll take five. There we go. You've got time. You can stand up, Ranger. We're good. We're good. But Broken's <laughs> run technically is done. My run is done, yes. Yeah. I'm not done. I have to wait for the badges. Statistically. Oh, you gotta talk to your dad, too? Yeah, because he gives you all the uh, event tickets. SS ticket plus all yeah, the all, tickets. all of those tickets, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I still I still have to finish it, yeah. I'm just doing my best uh, security cosplay right now. Sorry, costume player. <laughs> and then I gotta get the Mac Dex upgrade. <coughs> oh yeah, so, GG broken. Well raced, yep. well raced, well done. Yep. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. So we're nap mode now. So it was a uh, 115 and. Go to route 115. Item passed mud slope. Oh uh, yep. I would have needed. No, the run is still going, Ranger. That. The run is still going. Yeah. What's that? I said I needed my uh, mock bike for that. Can't you go Which... wrap around the other side of it? Or am I thinking? No, I'm thinking 119. Yeah, you're thinking 119. 115. 115. Is... It's oh, the, there. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, that's an ugly place for that to be. Yeah. That's gross. We would, we, I, I think with that item B, with that badge being there, this would have been finished with hints. 
regardless, yeah. so it's kind of good that this happened, I guess. I'm sorry, I thought I set up this, uh, the, right, the room correctly. <laughs> it happens. Were hints 10% then? Oh no. <laughs> hey, I'm now the hints were 5%. That's bizarre. Okay, so make sure you do your best impression of you picking up the item. Alright. Or is the item still there? I'm still there. Okay, good. Register mock bike real quick. Wait, what? Where is my you are, you are not missing mock bike! <laughs> no way, dude! Hold on. It says that I got it. Okay, hold on. Don't do this to me. I know where to go to I probably have to get it. Hold on. <laughs> uh, it being it, I know where to go to get it. No, it's, it's not hinted. What do you mean it's where to get it? How in my world. How do you know because that? Because it shows on it shows on the release. That's why I was so confused why I don't have it. But I'm thinking maybe because I didn't physically pick it up, I don't have it. So I'm going to get it right now. Where is it? Uh, it's over here by Weather Institute. Oh. I don't see it in the full release. Uh, it's the fourth thing released. After I'm looking. The fourth thing released was PP up. Mock bike. I don't see mock bike, actually. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I see full heal, X accuracy, protein, PP up, earth badge. Oh, that is not at all what I see. <laughs> Okay, so something really... This is very, very rare. Do not let this scare you away from Archipelago or future <laughs> potentials in Archipelagos and future marathons. Don't tell your friends, please. Hey, this you actually have all your items, though. That is true, but we're trying to do this by the rules. True. I'm sorry, did the Ruins of Elf get released into the wild here? Apparently. Okay, cool. That'd be another interesting thing. How many games can you beat with Unown? <laughs> oh, no, no. I <laughs> Get the Shedinja one first. <laughs> Get Shedinja done first. Unpaid requests, by the way. So it should be... Yep, there's my mock bike. Okay, now I can go back and... Well, that's weird. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I think it's because... I, I don't know why. Um, In terms of audio, Randall, you could probably put it on my game now. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't... 119, 119, 119. There's a badge in 119. Where are you going? No! Oh, was okay, there no. one in 119? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Uh, what was the location, 119? Because I can go to it very easily. <laughs> I'm above waterfall. Oh, you were yeah, right, no. That's you were gonna... literally right at it. No, I wasn't. I still, oh, I still had a bit. Sorry. One step I can go away to... from it. <laughs> I can go to... Um, I can actually get there faster by flying to uh, Fortry. Okay. <laughs> Wait, how? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. From mine. We just felt like uh, after the four hours of all of us here bonding <laughs> together, we needed to add additional chaos to include everybody. We're a very inclusive group. So we're just glad yeah, that we were able back. to get. Nope. All right, there's Soul Badge. One more badge. Line to four tree now. Once he grabs this badge, I will immediately jump into the Elite Four, and then we'll be six minutes away from time. <laughs> Actually, do you want you want to do like an over under seven minutes? Huh. I'm gonna say you're gonna encounter a Chansey, so over. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. I should look for something that could replace Rock Slide. Maybe I should just go back to Strength. Strength is safer. It's not, not half that show. Unless you gave me, um... There you go. Really kick. Earth Badge. Yep. All right. Let me double check here. Payday. That's not kicking. Cry attack is good. All right. Here we go. But yeah, no, it was faster to do it that from Fortree because I still hadn't done Weather Institute. <laughs> Sub four, sub four, could sub four. Man, yeah. depending on depending on the fights, could sub four. Ah, oh, it's a hypno. It's over. GG. It's not sub four. Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe it is. Wow, I one shot. I'm I'm impressed. All right. I'm actually I'm actually impressed. This is truly a test now of how fast can I mash. Right. I'm not the one. I'm not the one who made the unknown suggestion. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna clear my name <laughs> on that one just right now. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm excited for Shedinja. I couldn't care less about unknown. I have the alphabet. I could put it in serial. Don't really care. But, uh, remember yeah, that for future marathons. PSR 2025. Yeah. Shedinja only speed run. <laughs> I will be here no matter what. <laughs> Insert my face on that meme poster. I went to the wrong place. I meant to go to whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Probably do it in a year. Fair, fair. All right, that's two. Fancy! No, no, I'm trying to get sub four. <laughs> I told you you'd encounter a chancy. Dang it! Why you gotta do this like that? Why you gotta do it? Dude, I'm not jinxing. I want, you, I want you, It doesn't matter. I actually, I actually, I actually hit it in one go. We're winning. We're winning. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is still doable. We can still sub four. Don't worry. I'm going to the only place in the game where Warren Lord Pale is uh, required. Oh yeah, go wake up the go wake up the tree. If I use my powerpoints correctly, I shouldn't have to menu at all. There you go. Oh, it's a jinx. It's three and a half seconds. Uh, the tree was a Venusaur. Oh wow. Uh, once I once I hit the end of Lance Ranger, that's when time will be coming up really quickly. Uh, it will be when. Uh, it'll be after the. Technically, AP counts the victory after he says, "Why did I lose?" So not on the final hit, but when um, when we leave the when it fades out to just going back to the trainer sprites. No, it's over. Oh no! Oh no! The stun spore. Oh no! Sub four rip. Ugh, maybe not. No, I gotta heal that. It's a disaster. They both have stun spore. That's not fair. <laughs> Well, it's not me that got the stall strats oh, this time. This? <laughs> Persian, do you have anything to say about this? Oh, it's got double team. Oh, no. Where's the X accuracy? I'm not messing around with this. Here we go. X accuracy gives you true vision. 
So it doesn't matter how many it uses. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Don't you do it. Oh, I try. <laughs> that body slam. It's oh, trying no. so hard. It's trying so hard to stop me. Okay, we got two minutes. We can sub for this easily. Come on. We can easily sub for this. Come on. <laughs> Okay, time will be coming up after I beat this fight. Time for a banger, let's go. Trying to remember where all the checks are in here. <laughs> Good practice for next year. Okay, we got two Porygons, a Tauros, a Scyther, a Hitmonlee, and something else. I don't know what else he has. Oh, here he is. I outsped. Holy cow. We're gonna get it. Weezing. Interesting. <laughs> oh, why are you like this? Stop it! <laughs> With the freaking stun spores! Why? Oh no. Uh, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I got it. Time's hey. coming up. <laughs> Time. GG. GG, man. What a run. <laughs> what a run. Oh. <laughs> Tried everything in its power <laughs> to slow us down. Yes, yeah, Stun Spore is 75% accurate. And we still got a sub four. What just happened? That's, what was that's this a, run? That's a really good question. <laughs> what was I, this run? <laughs> oh. Well. That was crazy. That is. <laughs> Pokemon Red and Emerald, Archipelago, Multiworld. <laughs> if you want to try this for yourself and also get stun spored 40,000 bajillion times in a row, archipelago.gg is where you can find it. There are so many different games and you can try it. It's really fun. It's really well done. It's super fun with friends. Broken and I have been doing a lot of marathons with us along with other friends as well. It's a, it's a super incredible time. Thank you for allowing us to be on Pokemon Speedruns. We hope that we can do this again for you. We're hoping, we actually wanted to have C Pokemon Crystal with this, but the person we wanted to bring on wasn't available. Otherwise, we would have did, the, we did the triad. But uh, we hope that we can bring this back to you again. It's uh, it's just a fun time and, and lots of time to talk and just shoot the stuff with chat. Oh, yeah. You have anything to add, Broken? <clears throat> nah, I think you hit just about every nail on the head. <laughs> Coliseum's being worked on. I know Coliseum's being worked on. I think. I think Stadium or Coliseum's in there. Yeah, I think it's Coliseum. I think Coliseum. I can't remember. They, they have a couple other Pokemon games that are trying to get working in there, but they're tough. I know, I know Platinum is being worked on. Um, mm -hmm. after that, stuff is a little bit difficult to program, but I know, like, Platinum would be the logical best, um, like, logically the best, uh, game to be able to make it happen because of the items that they need. Uh, right. but yeah. Broken's there. I stream full-time. My name is Propokanoob. We do this a lot. Like, Archipelago randomizers, roguelikes, uh, randomizer Nuzlocks, speedruns of Nuzlocks. This is, this is what I do. This is what we do, so. <laughs> uh, Yeah. Thank you very much for having us. Enjoy Aquamarine and everything else in America.